And just like that, guys, it's time for some Wizard 101 again today. Hopefully everybody's doing really well today. This is Kimmy Say playing with his favorite balance wizard here in Sand, Sand Hammer. And looks like we are going to work, do some Safaria today. Well, just like we always do at the beginning of the stream, we're going to stop and take a look at our stats and see just where our wizard stands going into today's stuff. Got a whole bunch of side quests done um, since the last stream, and that's that's good. So let's go ahead and jump into our 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 yeah our stuff. Okay, well I guess I got plenty of training points saved up. Level 76. That's where we're starting today. Is level 76. So I think that's a level more than where we start at. Um, got plenty of gold. Keep maxing out of my gold. Did I show you guys my new pet? Let me show you my new pet. My new pet I just picked up is Mighty Rex, a feathered tabby. So, yeah, not 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 so good as far as um, <laughs> as far as its um, pedigree. But you know what? Maybe we can train them. You know, I mean, there were some good good stats that I got that I went with them. I still got to train Lady Simba. Well, anyways, get back to our stats. Okay, so um, damage is the same because we haven't changed any clothing or anything. Haven't had a chance to try to grind for those boots over in Lantia. Resistance across the board still at 15. Accuracy at 10 percent. And then we saw that great critical rating, but it's dropping. It seems like every time my level goes up, my critical hit is dropping. So I think that's something they've got built in. You know, as your level goes up, um, you don't get as much as a boost on critical rating or something. It's, it's crazy. Or, you know, what? it's not that it's dropping. I think it's raising how many points total you have to have to get that. You know, there's, there's some, some weird math going on. Because as I level up, my critical percent is going down like that used to be as high as 44 percent and now it's down to 40 and i haven't changed any gear out so um hmm what type of bizarre math are you doing to us there um king's isle okay well anyway so we're in pretty good shape um like i said no big gear or anything to change out um you know it's just the way things are so hopefully we are going to go ahead. Ooh, do I have a nice mastery amulet in there? <laughs> I guess that's where that other one went to. Okay, very good. Well, anyways, I don't know why I'm like chatting with this. Let's head over to the drum jungle because our quest, well, let's, let's select our quest. Let's make sure it's up at, yes, we have got to locate Oya Bloodstorm in the Zafarian jungle because she has something that we need. So if you're just joining, thank you so much for checking everything out. Hopefully you guys have been having a great day. My day has been fabulous. And I'm excited to be back here on stream. Ah, yes. So, very good. Okay, let's swing around here. And I do believe that we have to deal with Oya, which is going to be the other side of these gorilla spider witches. Yeah. Yeah. and grab ourselves raging. Okay, so, um, Zafaria. Zafaria, we essentially have um, two more parts to it till the final dungeon. So right now we are in, we are in the drum jungle, and I think we're getting really close to finishing the drum jungle. I've said that before, and so I'm not sure. We're getting really close to finishing it. Now, right after the jump, drum, drum jungle is the elephant graveyard, I think, because we still gotta, we still gotta rescue the prince. And that is where oh, we're getting wizard. ready to head. What a delicious morsel. Okay, let's make sure I have the right. Good. We have it ready to go. Do have, do have the right one up. So let's go ahead and do that. Sorry about that. Um, let's, and let's go ahead and yeah. Let's let's fight. Should not be a problem. We got Oya who's fire and she has a health of 59. Oh yeah, this this should not be a tough fight at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put that put a faint on her right away. Agent, good afternoon. How are you doing, sir? I decide, you know I decided to go ahead and start the stream early. See if we could get through some more stuff today. So that's kind of kind of where it's at. Oops, looks like I got a visitor chopped in stream. I believe it's um, Jacob. Okay, yes, Ghostcaster in his life outfit. 
Apparently he hired himself Mario for his for for his pet. Nah, that's I'm sure that, that not quite Mario. Kind of looks like Mario. His outfit and everything. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and put this up. Well, looking forward to a really good afternoon. Let's see here. Goals for the stream. Where would I like to get in the game? Oh, what's going on? Well, you know, it's really been a quiet day. I've been avoiding doing things like plumbing. Um, let's see here. Uh, some other things I probably should get done, you know. But I've just kind of been avoiding the things, you know. So, <laughs> I got I got to get myself motivated. Um, but other than that, you know, I've just been doing some reading, some studying up on a few things, so that I can move on. I'm trying to plan out my next, what do you call it? Um, my next couple of Wizard One uh, Quick Tips videos. So, I think I've got a couple of topics I, I've, I've chosen that I'm pretty happy with. So I'm going to make some videos this week on those. Um, restarted my death character, so I went and took my death character, which I haven't really played on consistently for a couple of years. Got my death character and um, start him back at zero. And I just went through like the brand new, um, the brand the brand new Triton Avenue quest, and they look pretty cool. You got a life outfit on because you're favorite. Okay, but you're an ice wizard. Yeah, I saw you bring up the ice minion there. I was thinking, hmm, yeah, he shouldn't be there. I mean, fantastic. Uh, the handsome Fomori. Fomori. There we go. Yeah, but so that, that's kind of what I've been doing. Is I've been trying to think of, you know, content and everything and working on that. Do some stuff that'd be fun. Yeah, I took one of my thing, uh, buffers. Okay, let's just hit him with raw. That might get rid of the gorilla. We're going to find out real quick here. So yeah, um, been a good day, been a good morning. That's what I've been up doing, having fun. I'm exciting, you know, I, I, so I'm also getting some equipment in and everything too. Like um, I've got my new camera for the webcam in the other day and I'm pretty excited, it looks really, really good. I'm just waiting for my capture card to get in so that I can go ahead and get my webcam up. I think that's gonna be fun. I think you guys will enjoy streams even more. Get to laugh at me one silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I mean, I want my stream to expand to another level. And from everything I've heard, you know, um, webcams are a big part of making that connection with your audience. So we're going to give it a shot. I was going to wait. Um, I was going to I was going to wait it out a lot longer, but oh, well, we're going to we're going to add it in and have some fun with it. And I think it should I think it I think it will add to everything else. Yeah, I think I think that's been most people what most people said when I asked them about what they think about webcams. So I've just about got all that going on. I think the only thing I really want to upgrade in my setup now is 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 get get a get a mic that I'm happy with. And this mic's okay, but it's not the not my preferred mic. My preferred mic that I had went out last year. Um, people weren't turning it off in my house like my daughter, you know, and um, it has some issues and I haven't been able to spend any time figuring out how to get it repaired or anything. So, and besides, I've been wanting a second mic, another mic for my wet mic cabinet anyways, because I do some audio, I do some music recording and stuff, I do some songwriting, so it, it's an excuse for me to get a better mic for the system. So I'm hoping to upgrade that here in the next couple months or so. But first, 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 trying to get the webcam up and going. I'm just waiting for my capture card to come in. And I think that's the last piece of equipment because I got my, oh yeah, lighting. So I've got some lighting coming in and a capture card coming in. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yep. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, always like Safari. Safari goes by really quick. So even though it's been like four, four streams, we're, I mean, we're pretty close to the end here. We just got a couple of large larger areas to knock out here and then we'll we'll be through with it so that's what I'm looking forward to I like Safari though it's it's a it's a neat world let's see here yeah and we're getting ready to hit the um, elephant graveyard which is one of my favorites one of my favorite sections the elephant graveyard I always thought was pretty cool
Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So, let's... Yep. So, that's, that's kind of what's been going on. Yep. Now, I am looking forward to Avalon, because I've only played all the way through Avalon once. Oh, Myth Gorillas are really annoying. <laughs> Yeah, the earthquake. When, yeah, Medusa and earthquake. Medusa for stunning you and earthquake. Yeah, so Avalon, I'm really looking forward to, um, and I guess we're not that far away. We might even might even be able to finish up Zafaria today. It's going to be really close. I always underestimate how long it takes to get through these different sections of the game. So I mean, you know, we could finish. We could finish today, and that'd be really nice. I would like to finish up Safaria today and move on to Avalon. Avalon's really neat. I, last time I played it was a few years ago, and I'm, I don't remember like half the quests, in it, so, so, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh, is she balanced? Oh, she had a good shield. Must have a good shield. Water. Yeah. Anyway, so kind of looking forward to that, because I want to go ahead and get past Avalon and move on to... Well, move move on to Azteca because I haven't played Azteca in a long time either. So there's 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 bonuses Fine. and stuff to both. You win. Take the silver sword. Take Shingo's lightning. The other blade, I'll never tell. Okay. 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 I'll tell. I figured. I gave it to one of the Umbra Queen's agents, a Goliath called Ranzan. Uh -huh. It dwells in a jungle clearing nearby. Of course it does. Okay, and like you know, nothing's ever simple. So. Let's go ahead and grab a few health wisps, and then we will go do. We will go find the Goliath beetle. Which is probably this little hole over here that I passed by a couple times. There we go. One jungle. Okay. Yep, so Avalon. I'm looking forward to Avalon because there's some cool things that happen in Avalon. You get some. Um, upgraded spells. Um, let's see here. What else? Pets. You get a new pet. You get a new minion, jungle. from what I remember. The smell of rotting plants and meat Ooh. is almost overpowered. Yeah, I think you get a new minion. And I'm kind of interested to see the balanced minion myself. Or maybe you don't get that till. No, I think you get it in Avalon. Because I think I remember using him in Avalon with my storm. Okay. So let's think about think this through. Where do we want to go first with this? Ah, uh, the balance minion is very good. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing him. I haven't I, I haven't seen that one yet, so I'm I'm, kind of, I'm excited. I know, I'll tell you what, the storm minion when I picked him up, um, the lion, he was awesome. He got me through the. If I didn't have that line, I doubt I would have gone through Azteca because it was it was tough. And ha and half the time I thought. I fought with my lion right beside me, and he was um, he was quite good. He was quite good at what we needed him to be good at. Thought very, very happy with it. So I'm looking forward to the balanced minion. You know, plus I plus I'm kind of hoping that maybe we get like a double gardening or maybe double pet experience this weekend from King's Isle because I I need to get my pets trained up. They are ready to go. Here we go. Nice. Very good. Also, if um, any of you watch YouTube and like Minecraft, I did have a new video post today where I went ahead and finished working on the park, and it turned out to be pretty good. Yeah, I got some Mega Snacks ready to train, so I'm just kind of waiting for the double pet XP to pop in. I've got like two pets I'd that I want to train right now. Um, I have a fox pet, which is pretty cool, and um, then, I, then I picked up that tabby. <laughs> I thought it looked cute. It was a tabby cat with wings. And it looked, and it had a whole bunch of healing spells on it and a blade. So I figured if I could get all those same, um, all the same enchants on it, then you know it'd be a pretty good pet to have for certain situations. Uh, okay, I know why the sound was down on that because we have sound effects down a little bit. Let's bring those up a little bit more. Ooh, that's a little bit much. Let's kind of balance that out. Okay. Now, let's raw them. Yeah, exactly. Healing talents are pretty cool. And so right now, I don't have any pets with healing talents. So 
Um, that's one of the reasons why I decided, hey, this, this might be a good mix right here. So I went ahead and, and hatched that. I guess that, that's what I've been using with my gold because I keep on getting to the gold limit like, like every other stream. And so when I hit that gold limit, I'm looking around for stuff to buy, so I just go in and, and buy another pet. Oh, if you go in with a healing pet, the bosses will destroy you quick. I'll keep that in mind when I finally get to Darkmoor. Definitely don't want to deal with that. They will cheat if you heal there? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that's, that's, that's not an uncommon cheat. Not an uncommon cheat. Well, good. Looks like things are going well. Let's get this get Goliath guy out of there. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, I was talking Kimberly Smash. Kimberly Smash, my daughter. She streams. She streams Wizard 101 too, and she just got her. She just got her first Max Wizard. She got her Ice Wizard all the way up to Max, and she's kind of funny. She pushed through all the way Max, and now she's she went back to Aztec, and so she's doing side quests in Azteca now. So she's going back and doing all the side quests. She makes me. She makes me laugh. I like to do them on the way, but yeah, she's she's pretty excited about it. I think she's I, forget, I think she's in Peri is in Imperia, so she hasn't she hasn't finished the game or anything yet. She just got she just went ahead and got him all maxed out. Ooh, balance. Oh my goodness, this isn't good. Okay. <laughs> I need to start thinking about what I'm doing here. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. He's he's a balance he's a he's a balance guy. Okay, well. Yeah, I got Chimera in the in the pack, so it's so it's not undoable. <laughs> I, I just didn't notice when I was playing. I was like, well, gee, why isn't his health down farther? Oh, there we go. That's the reason why. Okay, so yeah, we need to go ahead and Let's go ahead and heal. That way he doesn't hit me out of the blue with something too crazy. Yeah, I've got I've got a few chimeras in the deck, so I just gotta ooh, I just gotta get everything set up for him. Now let me see if I can take him. I think I can take him. I think I have the right stuff in the deck to take him. Hmm, yeah, let's get rid of Ra. There's a chimera right there. Let's go ahead and bring that up. Yeah, I think I can get him. I just, yeah. it's just taking the time to do it. And I guess I just critical on my heal, so that's going to take care of health issues at the moment. That's nice. Very, very good. Yeah, gotta be careful about that. I don't want to, I don't want to lose a fight because I didn't pay attention to what type of boss I had. Ooh, what a way to start the stream. Ugh. Yeah, I really hate those crazy bolts or. Or insane bolts, or whatever they are. They, you know, whenever they cast those, it kind of makes me cringe a little bit. Okay, so let's see here. Let's just keep loading him up with traps. Well, that was definitely worth it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Avalon. There's lots of neat things in Avalon. Yeah, the insane bolts are crazy. And, and I mean, they can often do hardly any damage, but when they do do damage, it's it's a very unpleasant experience. Something I don't want to repeat, you know. So yeah, so it always worries me when, for some reason, um, these, these bounce guys will use it, but definitely the storm guys, you know. And doesn't and they don't even cost that much pips either. That's what that's a scary part about it. I guess that's a random, random aspect they made out of that particular spell. I was never a big fan of it. I, I'd rather use something I knew that was going to do like big damage already. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. About yeah. Spectral blast. It's not. That's not so bad. I just don't care for like those 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 insane or crazy bolts from Storm. Those are rough. That was pretty good. It looks like we almost finished him off. Let's see, 125. Well, certainly we can get up to that pretty quick. Very good. Yep. So yeah. 
Avalon, Avalon. I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to the to the Baba Yaga quests or or the or the or the Walking House quests because I, I zoomed through that the first time and I thought it was really cool, but I don't remember much of it. So I'm looking forward to those quest lines because I think because I, I think I don't know. It just seemed pretty cool from what I remember. You know, let's see. I bet you we can get enough damage with Judgment. Um, in Avalon, where you got the house with the chicken legs. Yeah, it's an Avalon. That's an old... Ooh, wow. Well, let me see what my judgment will do to you. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's, um... It's... Yeah, it's, it's towards... I think it's towards the end, I forget. It's been a while, but yeah. And I just... I, I, I remember I thought, I thought the design and everything was really cool and stuff. ...looking iron blade. This must be Shango. I mean, I've got a couple wizards that might get there eventually if I ever go back and start playing them again, but um, I think that I think I'll, I'll stand a better chance of just getting my balance guy there since we've got good focus, good momentum going right now. Okay, so now let's go talk to Coco. Coco, Coco, Coco. Smoke sign. Very nice. So, yeah, it's it's, it's been a it's been a good day. I still need to get a whole bunch of my students to take a test they haven't taken yet. That was due Sunday, but they're, I don't know, I guess they're just avoiding it right now. You know, easy test, too. I had lots of good grades on that test. All over plate tectonics. So, yeah, that's the other thing I've been doing with school stuff, is making sure that's all taken care of. Coco! Good job. Ah, yes. Let the blades guide you. They okay. will put away whatever obstacles are in the path, then return to me. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and open it up. Oh yeah, we don't want to go to Baobab Crossroads. Yeah, lots of people are having trouble with online classes and stuff. You know. Um, you know, my, my son, is, who's a really, really good student, he is just not getting his work done. I've like had to been all over him to take care of his work for the last couple weeks. And I still get emails from his teacher saying, hey, he's the only, he's the only pre-AP student who's like this far behind in his quizzes. It's like, oh my goodness. You know, so yeah. A lot of people are having trouble with it. Oops, did I go, go to unusual looking rock? Must be down here, I guess. Oh. Good, I think I got through without getting caught. Yeah, he is um, not motivated, and so it's been really hard to get him to take care of his business, which is just killing me. You feel there the it is. pulling you this way towards the water. You slot the silver sword There we go, into, into the, the rock. Water, and you can hear stone grinding. There's Very good. Behind the waterfall. Of course there is. With dungeons. So let's go in and find it. Yeah, so trying to get him motivated to take care of his business is frustrating. Yeah, right now he has an incomplete in the class because he didn't get all his stuff done. You know, because he was, he just kept looking at it, didn't want to do it, and then just avoided it. Think, I don't know what he was thinking, whether it was going to go away or not, but it's not going to go away. Sorry, fresh high school freshman. What are you going to do? Okay. Ice and life. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, very good. I'll just put that on her for the moment. Ah, yes, the break. Yeah, I'm in, I'm enjoying it. We only have like a few weeks left that we're going to be doing school. Like we've got probably four weeks left of us taking in work, and then uh, then I've got to go in the school. I got to get my room cleaned up for the summer and everything. Hopefully, you can retain the stuff. Well, you know, they'll be. Things always get retaught and stuff. That's that's the that's the advantage of a lot of that, you know. So reviews are often done, you know. I mean, I wish my students would retain more, but you know, I accept the fact that most of them don't, you know. And then my you know my year of science in eighth grade, when the, where we teach science, you know, we got to teach, we got to give them their foundation for physics, their foundation for biology. Um, the found or more ecology because seventh grade is more biology, but ecology we got do we do their foundation for chemistry, 
for your big three in high school. Well, you should take good notes, right? You know, I was never a big, I was never a good note taker myself, so that wasn't, that was never one of my big focuses. But um, yeah, definitely, I, I, I wouldn't doubt. The better notes you take, the better off you're going to be. Okay, let's see here. What do I have in here? Yeah, that's not going to help me any. Okay, we'll pass for a moment to gather a couple more pips. Of course, the ice guy would tower shield the minion, you know. But yeah, so so it's a so eighth grade's a fun year because you're given all the basics. But I can't tell you how many you know. Last year, I got a good compliment from a couple of our chemistry teachers up in the high school that we prep them really well for chemistry, which is good because that's that's one subject I really enjoy. So I'm glad that she feels are coming up there pretty well prepared. Um, our physics teacher, they they wonder if we get to all the physics stuff, which is kind of funny, you know. Um, just because no, they can't even remember Newton's laws by the time they get up there, which is, which kills me. But you know, what you, what you gonna do? Um, let's see here. Let's just go ahead and do that. Yeah. So the physics teachers wonder if we ever go over some of that stuff by the time they get them. You know, which is which is kind of funny. But then my kids, you know, but then the kids also do, the, you know. The ones who really struggle in math have a hard time with that anyways. And physics is, let's be honest, physics is almost like just another high-end math course is what it is in high school. It's just tons of math. And it's all about manipulation. If you had trouble with algebra, physics is not going to be your friend. Okay. We need to get rid of that menu. Very good, but there, yeah. But that—that's—that's that's what, that's what I've been doing. Like we get, we take care of all that basics. So when they get up into high school, they can definitely take care of those three major things. In fact, most most high school kids, that's all the geology they'll have is the geology they had from us in sixth grade and fifth grade. So if they end up taking geology later in college. It's all brand new. It's all stuff they haven't had for like, you know, eight nine years or so. that even be effective it's interesting okay let's try it this way I'm gonna have to do a healing thing real quick well it's a good thing that it's a life and ice guy cuz they're not all that aggressive <laughs> okay. not super aggressive really yep for sure let's see here Let's just get rid of one of those. And honestly, we need to go ahead and heal because they're getting me under the 2,000 health point, which in these types of fights, if you're less than 2,000 health, they can like swing and hit you out of the blue with a critical and suddenly you're dead. I don't like my health getting below 2,000 when I'm in fights like this up and from Zafaria on up. It can get kind of dicey with some of the bosses. <laughs> Yes, they. I mean, they can. They can do all sorts of things. You, you got to be careful. They, they just pull out for some reason. Suddenly, you know, like, oh, he just healed himself. Then, you know, go ahead and hit him with a two thousand point. You know, out of the blue. Here, let's go ahead and get rid of that stupid tower shield. Yep, they can totally, totally knock us. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's part of what I'm looking forward to Avalon is I'm looking forward for that quest line because that's going to be a cool quest line that I that I haven't done for a while. You know, and um, the whole the whole the whole Artorias line is pretty cool too. Oh, that's great! Love being stunned. Very nice. Yeah, so I started my death character all over this morning because I'm going to use him for my quick tips. That way, I can go back and show certain things when I'm when I'm going through stuff. And I think that's going to be that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Ooh, the mobs here get a lot more health than those 3,000 health life or Yes, they do. That's crazy stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and just protect myself again. Oh, well, I guess never, never mind. Forgot, I was stunned there. Yep, so I was like working on my death guy this morning, and I got to go through the whole new Triton Avenue redo. 
How many of you guys gone through the reorganization of the Triton Avenue quests? They're pretty cool. No, not much. It's not not terrible. It could be a lot worse. Yeah, but the the whole new Triton Avenue stuff is really really cool. I was thinking, oh yeah, this is great. You know, in fact, there's a whole lot more story. You know, I mean, I it really matches the way they've been doing quests from say Chrys Chrysalis on up because they've made the quest a little bit more interactive. You know, they made the characters more than just, you know, a standing quest line, which is kind of interesting. So, uh, yeah, Triton Avenue is definitely, definitely an upgrade. A really nice upgrade on there, too. So, yeah, I did all those quests this morning. Got my wizard up to level 10. You know, pretty happy with it. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think they, I think there was some great opportunities they, they took there that I think really played well to everything. So, yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty cool. You know, so I, so I did that, you know, and, oh, it was, it was a lot of fun running around with my death guy. I haven't really, forgot how powerful he was. I mean, I basically, you know, rocked through all those quests without even a blink. You know, as soon as you get Crypt Keeper, or yeah, the, yeah, the Crypt Keeper guy, you know, just, you know, any of those, any of those self-healing death spells just really, just really set you up for success. Okay, so ooh, let's go ahead and put that on her. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's see how much damage that'll do to our gorilla. Probably not enough. Yep, not like that. That's great. Okay. Loving fizzling. Yeah, but um, yeah, Triton Avenue, the whole redo. That was super fun, super fun to go through. I thought it was really neat. There you go. There you go. Let's try to... Maybe I should have just did the ice guy. Very cool. Nice. Maybe... That'll finish him off just about. Yeah. Avalon bosses, though, they have a ton of health. Yeah, Avalon bosses, they do get a lot tougher. Um, I can't remember any particular ones offhand. But I do remember that the challenge does, does go up. You'll have to take quite a few hits. I'm expecting to. I'm expecting to. Um, I am looking forward to... Uh, my level 78 spell. I'm not sure what it is because I'm because I'm not that familiar with. Actually, I don't really know what spells are coming up for balance. You know, all the spells I'm familiar with, I have already. So all the all the new spells coming up are going to be brand new to me. So I'm pretty excited to see what they turn out to be and how they how they work in my arsenal. Because you know, not every spell always works really well in your arsenal. If you've noticed, sometimes you just got to cast some aside. Yeah, I have no idea. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm trying to keep keep spoiler free on that so it'll be a surprise and I'll definitely try to do spell my spell quest during stream because I think I think those are those those work for me as as main mainline quests but yeah I'm, I'm kind of I'm looking forward to them looking forward to it because I think I think they should be pretty cool right okay well I think we're about to knock this guy out yep I have no idea what I get either. I do know that eventually there's a saber tooth tiger one I'm going to get, but I think that's two spell quests away, at least. You know, so I'm not really sure what's coming up next for me. I do know that a minion quest is coming up pretty quick, so that's that. I'm kind of I'm, I'm looking forward to that. You know, so I know a new minion's coming up, and then my level 78 spell quest, which will be in about two levels. I might even get there by the end of stream depending on how well questing goes today yeah I remember back in the early days of the stream you know I could like go three or four levels a stream and now making one making one one level of stream is is kinda tough yikes okay that that hmm. yeah I don't want to don't want to be hit by that okay I think we have enough to finish her off Okay, got her dream drinker. Is that what it said? Dream drinker? Dream drinker. That's just kind of creepy sounding. Yeah. 
And another bug is squashed. Very nice. Take the Gemi for the mammoth doors, you are casted wizard. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Very, very good. So, I was, I was trying to see, you know, if I had any gear with set bonuses. So, I was checking out my, um, I was checking out my waterworks gear. And apparently, they don't have a set bonus for that stuff. So, I'm kind of hoping, hoping that that might change as they start adding set bonuses in for certain gear. No, 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 it's going to be bad. I don't want to get in a fight. Uh, um, yeah, not good. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see if I can survive this. Yep. Ooh, the Celestia set bonus? I'll have to check that out. Drops, drops in Celestia have a set bonus now. That's pretty cool. That is very, very neat. Um, I... I got my crafted gear for my um, for my death wizard because they actually have made that quest a whole lot more transparent. You know, Gloria, they brought her out so your level 10 craft, your level 10 gear as she as she puts together a set of gear just for you. That's been brought out more, which is which I think is really kind of cool. Um, yeah, I don't want those. Okay. And I just, I, and I got them for my death, but I didn't get a chance to check to see if I got any type of bonus for the whole set or anything. But um, I am looking forward to it. You know, it looked like I was watching somebody else's video the other day, and they had, I think they had a set bonus for their Dragoon gear or something. So, so I thought, okay, well, if they're doing it for Dragoon, you know, maybe, maybe we'll, maybe we'll start seeing it in other, in other um, main sets. I guess that's one of the reasons why I want to go ahead and get those. Poseidon boots because I don't think because I'm at level 76 now and I think this is probably going to be my main set of gear at least until level 90 and that's whether I decide to grind for the Hades gear or not there we go let's take him out raw so yeah I, I, I need to go back and I need to grind for the boots for for the Poseidon gear because I think those. I think that'd be great, and you know that gives me. And since you know there, there's a good chance there'll be a set bonus with it. Really, really, that's all you could do for me. Hmm. Okay, I might die here. Okay. Yeah, the Hades gear is nice. I think a lot of people skip over Hades because Hades doesn't show up to like level 90, and that's only 10 levels away, but. You know, which is fine. Like, if you're just going to power through a world, that's fine. You know, it's probably better to wait for um, for Darkmoor. But if you're but if you're working through worlds like I am, it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and stop and grind for that other gear. Gives you, I think it, I think it's well worth it. Okay, they're going to kill me this round. The Hades wand, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I would definitely want that. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I love the love this. Um, this is a great spear that I have because it gives me like a plus sixty four critical rating. Oh, and that's that. Yeah, it's my fault. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's one way to get through the fight and get to Coco faster. Okay, let's see if we can't find ourselves. Ah, we'll find it over at Coco's. Okay. Jeez. Let's go back to the drum jungle and talk to Coco. Yeah, so yeah, so so I gotta. So I'm thinking about. I need to go back and finish grinding for the well boots. Done. Where Very does good. the iron blade, Shango's thunder, point you towards, towards the shack? His lair is guarded by West a spider, spider bridge. bridge. If you tried to cross it, you'd get stuck fast. Okay. And then he'd. I can protect you with a simple spell, but to make it, I need you to find my iron pot. I also need my wooden spoon that one of the blackback soldiers took, and we need a pinch more eternal flame from Umlilo. Ah, uh, yes. Well, let's go ahead and do some collecting. Okay. Gotta find her iron pot. Gotta go fight some other one. So let's do the iron pot first. A full team for Tartarus. Yeah, Tartarus is tough. 
tartars and stuff. I've ground I've ground tartars a couple times, and it's you, you gotta well a full team or at least one one um one really good carry. <laughs> you know, I've I've done it both ways with a good team and with a with a really high level carry. Those are the that's how I've usually done. T are you kidding me? I wasn't even anywhere near them. Ah. Oh. Well, I don't know. I mean, it didn't seem that bad. Like you know, um, when I was when I was trying to go through Tartarus, I, it seemed like you know I'd wait like you know five minutes tops to get a to get a to get a team to to um, go through with it. So it really didn't seem that bad to me when I was doing it. Yeah, it happens. You know, that's this is one of those places. It's better probably to give the give the mobs more 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 range in between them. Ah, it's okay. That's okay. Not a problem. Yeah, well, you know. But yeah, I, I didn't have any problem building teams for Tartarus. In fact, I didn't have any problems building teams for Zigzag late one night too when I was messing messing around with Zigzag. Um, and like a, a year ago I had more trouble with Zigzag. So I think I think more people are playing and more people are trying to collect the gear now. So I'm not I'm not so stressed about it, but like you said, yeah, you got to have a team. If you if you're going to do Tartarus, it's better to have a team or at least one good carry to help help your team get through it all. It's just so many fights. I think that's the that's the downside to those places. But I mean, you get really good gear if you if if you can make it through it. So it's 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 kind of worth it. <laughs> it's in the end. In the end, that gear makes a big difference when you're fighting. You know, like I finally got the, um, I finally got the the helmet, my Hades helmet for my Storm guy, and that just made a huge difference in his fights. You know, so it's 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 worked. It's working out okay. Yep, it's working out okay. Yep, and then as much as people talk how hard Darkmoor is, it's like oh boy. <laughs> But hopefully by Darkmoor I'll have the. Well, actually, yeah, by Darkmoor I should have my Shadow Pip spells, too. So that should help out a lot. Yep. There we go. Bra can handle them. Let's see here. There we go. Hear a little bit of this sound effects going on. Nice. Let's get this cauldron that she had to leave all the way over. Oh, come on. Give me the iron pot. What? Okay, now it's getting kind of. Oh, there it is. This must be the iron pot. I was looking for the wrong one. You notice the camp looks like it was abandoned not that long ago. Okay, let's go get us get us some black back soldiers. Black back, which are probably down in here. Okay, let's go ahead and get our deck back to melee deck, so it'll go by a little bit quicker. There we go. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's rumble. Very, very nice. Woo. Okay, let's go ahead and toss both of those. Let's toss that, toss that. Get that up. Awesome. So, everybody's checking out the stream. Thank you for stopping in. We're going to be streaming here for a few hours, and we're going to, I guess the goal, I guess if we set a goal for stream, I would like to get... I would like to at least get to the Mirror Lake. We may not start the Mirror Lake dungeon, just kind of depends on what time we get there. But I would like to get all the way to Mirror Lake by the end of stream. That's 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 one of the goals. I think that's my main goal. Let's see if we can get to Mirror Lake. Now, of course, best case scenario is I can get to Mirror Lake with still an hour left. So maybe I could possibly even start and finish Mirror Lake. That would be great. Oh yeah, I would love to be able to finish Mirror Lake today and be ready to go to Avalon. But yeah, I think that's that's where we're going to stress the goal. Okay, this is ridiculous. 
give me a give me a charm. Give me a charm for one of my or enchant. Give me an enchant for one of my raws. Very good. Oops, and here we go. Nice. Not a problem there. Ah, that's exactly what I needed. Okay. Let's sit back and watch the fireworks. Very good. Yep, so, yeah, so those are things I'm kind of looking forward to, but yeah. Um, it was a lot of fun playing with my death earlier and going through some of the new so some of the new changes there, especially down there in Trident Avenue. Because they did quite a bit down there. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, that's the way we want it. Get rid of them both. Now let's cross our fingers for the defeat and collect algorithms that maybe I'll collect what I need. Yes, I got the thing. Let's go. T let's go get some more Eternal Flame. Um, Lilo. You need another spark yes. of Eternal Flame. Yes, I do. I can do that for you. I thank. must thank you again for freeing ah, me from good. that dire cage. I'll head back to Bayabab now. You do that. You do that. Very good. Got everything that I need. Oh dear. Yep. I just gotta be more careful. I'm not being careful enough. Okay, well, let's go ahead and prep up for a big hit. Get these gorillas out of my way. Got another suck in there. Ouch. Oop, I crocked the critical. I blocked the critical. Sorry, English was very tough right there for a moment. Okay, let's see what Mr. White Guy here can do. Is this a death guy here? Yeah, he's a death guy. Spirit Caller, nice last name. Very good. Okay. Mm, he will probably be ahead of me, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and prep as if I'm not gonna get that chance. Very, very good. Yeah, plus, oh yeah, I can't wait to get to some of the astral spells up up there in Avalon because, or is it Avalon or is it Zafar, Azteca? One of the uh, the, um, the school specific astral spells to give you the bonuses for your own for your school. I am looking forward to getting that one because that would be because that's one I used a lot with my storm guy. So I think that'll be pretty cool. And there's a backup spell in case he fizzles. Well, if I can stop getting caught in fights, I think this will move a lot faster. That's the whole whole name of the game here. Trying not to get pulled. Oh, he fizzled. Good thing I had Raw ready. Let's see here. Should Raw, Raw should be able to finish him off. There we go. And give him a one-two punch. Let's take care of that spidery gorilla. Oh, not enough. Dang it. It's okay. He has... Yeah, the Scarecrow ready to go, so... I thought I clicked that. Oh, well. Fun, fun, fun. Nice. Go ahead and make it happen. Good. Good, good, good. Now that's just crazy OP right there. Crazy OP Scarecrow. Ah, yes. Very cool. I love the quest where we had to go find the Tarzan dog. Did you guys notice that? They call him Xantar here, but that's a, um, that's a whole Easter egg to the whole Tarzan story. Because the Marley Boniums lost him when he was just a pup. Zongvlad. Zengavlad, sorry. Now that's a good death player. Yeah, he was pretty good. Yeah, the waterwork gear. That's that's pretty good. It's pretty nice. That's right, you like you like that. You like that death stuff, don't you, Zengavlad? That's what you were telling me last time. Death 
You have a your main character, main wizard's death, as I recall. I'm just trying to remember it all. Here we go. Nice you to see you, Enchant. Thank you for needed. stopping by I can today. Make your spell now. Very good. Cross the bridge, use Shango's thunder. Battle the big boss. Yeah, get it is. Prize. Then return. It is. It gets really tough. Although a lot of people will use it after AD, it gets really, really tough after that. Ah, second is ice. Yeah. yeah, I was just talking a little, talking earlier. I need to, I need to go in and get the, get my Poseidon boots. I need to go ahead and grind out my Poseidon boots to get the full set here, because I think I'll probably be in the Poseidon gear at least till level 90. Because I think level 90 is when Tartarus opens up. So, looking for that. Oh, you do bizarre items after 80? That's cool. That's cool. I'll have to double check. Did you get see if there's in anything here? in there. Why aren't you stuck to a web having the life bled out of you? I did that I'll a lot with my um, storm guy. Your I had like one piece of waterworks gear, one piece of bizarre gear, you know, and then one piece of Tartarus gear for like forever until I until I got the rest of it. Okay, let's see your deck. Let's get my deck right. There we go. That's the one. Okay, let's take on Kala Your Silverback. Unaltered spells won't even scratch my yeah. fur. Yeah, yeah. That's why I heard that's the the really good wand. You can get the really good wand in Tartarus. The Tartarus gear has good um, what you call that? So it has really good critical stuff. So I mean, I've I've used it for that as well. Um, should I go ahead? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Yeah. So. Yeah, so I guess I guess what my plans are as far as gear for my wizard is I want to get my Poseidon boots, and I'll probably use these till about 90. Yeah, and then about then when they then when Tartarus opens up, it's I'm just gonna grind out that Hades gear until I get it, and because that's that stuff's super super useful, and especially the way I play since I'm not since I'm not like trying to get through a whole world in a in a gaming session that I that I actually play through it over a, over usually a two week span with the stream and everything it's be, I think it's better if I go ahead and take the time to get um, to go ahead and get the Poseidon gear then get the Hades gear then when I get the dark more I'll get dark more oh yeah that's the way to go get somebody who who will farm it with you help you carry you through it otherwise those that's a long dungeon uh, it just it just goes on. Okay, I'm not going to use my Chimera here. Jeez, I need... Where are my... Where are my enchants? Yep. Yeah, Hades gear is cool, though. I, I like Hades gear. I have it for my Storm, and I'm very happy with it. Although my Storm is like level 98, so he's only about two levels away from qualifying to go to Darkmoor, I believe. So then I guess it'll be back to the grind. Got to get that Darkmoor gear. Anything that'll help out my my storm guy. He's just having a hard time up there in Chrysalis. Hmm, that was horrible. Why would they do such a thing to me? Okay. Very very good. Well, awesome to see you back on stream. I hopefully you're having a great week, great great week, Vlad, or Zenga, or Zenga Vlad. I hope everything's going well with you. You know. If you're in soul school, I hope you're getting all your work turned in. If you're out of work, I'm hoping you have you're doing well, you're comfortable, and if you're working, I hope your 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 daily work has been going well for you as well. So, very very good. I think I covered almost everything there. Zenga better and as well, man. Thank you, thank you. I'll I'll go with Zenga then. Very nice. Um, well, let's just get this out of my system here. Oh, I'm going to do a heal. Boy, that's unpleasant. Yes, but they're not showing up. I need to discard a few things. Sorry about that. Getting kind of grumpy in my deck right now. It's a killing me. Now, at least that critical. Let's see how well that helps out. It'd be great if it got rid of her, but I don't think I don't think he'll get rid of her. Oh, yes, not enough, not enough. And actually, that's going to give me a good gauge to see how much resist this guy might have. 
Okay, none. Nice. Yeah, that's that's a good plan. The Poseidon head and robe with waterworks boots. Yeah, the 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 waterworks boots are great because they give you a bunch of that defense for sure. You know, that's why I've got one right now are my waterworks boots. But I'd like to go ahead and get the full set because if they do go ahead and add set bonuses to stuff, then it might be worth getting all of it. Yeah, death has a lot of buffs. That's cool. That's nice. Uh, you know what? I think I should just... Oh, I should have just passed on that. Okay. Not good. I need to get a heal on here pretty quick, or at least I need to get rid of this gorilla spider. Okay, that'll take care of her. Okay, just gotta survive this, and then I can get a heal up. Okay, Snipes, what is your choice of pet for, for a new balance? Are you talking about a brand new balance? Well, if you're going to the kiosk, I don't know, it kind of depends. I, 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 was actually, I actually just bought a new um, balance pet this morning. And I, you know what I had? I, I picked up a cat with wings. I get a tabby with wings. But it has lots of it has an it has a um, balance blade that it, that it may cast. Plus, it has about three different types of heal spells that it'll may cast as well. And so I went ahead and picked him up. And I'm actually really I think that would be a really great first pet for um for a balance character, um, just because of its range of abilities. And I picked and I went ahead and grabbed him in the kiosk. Other than that, I you know the first balance pet I I actually bred was my was my battle eagle and. Um, I you know, love her. She's pretty awesome. Um, the foxes, if you want to go for a really high-end pet, the foxes or the battle eagles are really both pretty nice. Um, so those, those, those are the, that's what I've explored so far. Um, yeah. I mean, when I'm looking for pets, the main things I'm looking for in a pet, I'm looking for if they can do some supportive stuff like healing. Um, I, I, I kind of look for that, you know. I didn't get it in my battle eagle. But my battle eagle also gives me like three blades. No, no, two blades, two traps. Yeah, two blades and two types of traps, which are really, really nice as far as for um, as far as for defense and attack. Okay, this could go horribly bad. Let's see. Okay, it's just that. Yep. Poseidon head has 120 crit. That's crazy. Yeah, I think mine's pretty high like that too, for for even my balance guy, for sure, Zenga. And snipes, yeah. So those are those are some of the choices. So probably healing and maybe try to get a blade from it also. Well, you know, I mean, when you're first starting out, damage and critical. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, w I would probably like my my next big pet. I would look for stuff with damage and critical on it too. But when you get to the point where you're really relying on damage and critical anyways, the gear you can get really, really makes it happen. Yeah, I do got the Poseidon head. For, yes, Zenga, I do got the Poseidon head. It's pretty awesome. The Poseidon head and the Poseidon robe really, really boost your critical quite a bit. Yeah. Um, oh, well, yeah, my Battle Eagle has damage. I, I find, like, a lot of them, if you get, if you get blades on them, they're going to get the damage as well, too. Ah, uh, the boots is not really a big difference than lower damage. Well, yeah, hmm. but you know, once they get once they get um, s set bonuses on everything, I need to get another heal up here. This is not good. Didn't I cast a faint on this gorilla? Pretty sure I cast a faint on this gorilla, and I don't see a faint on that gorilla. Huh. Okay. Sorry, zoning out there. Not really zoning out, trying to figure out why things aren't adding up. Okay, let's see here. I really do need to get a heal. Okay, uh, after they put set bonuses and everything, Poseidon is going to dominate Waterworks. I think so, As and I think it should. I, honestly, I mean, uh, I think Poseidon's a really good set of gear, you know. Um, 
I know for a couple of my wizards, I never messed with it because everybody kept saying, oh, Poseidon gear, it's not that good. I mean, you know, you hear that in the chats and everything and, and, and such. And so you go, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't waste my time. And I just kept going on with Waterworks. But I'll tell you what, you know, I picked up two-thirds of the Poseidon gear for this. And, you know, um, just being able to get those criticals more often makes a huge difference in in fights. Okay, this is getting this is getting kinda kinda silly. We need to I need to heal before he casts some really crazy damage spell on me. Oh thank you so much Snipes for the subs for the subscription. That is awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Well you know what I mean you know, that's just what I've noticed. It's the stuff that seems to work really well for me. There's a lot of really good players out there as well. So I so I don't try to try to I don't want it to sound as if I know everything. I don't. So it's just what I kind of like, you know. Um, Zenga Vladi Zenga, you know, is we've been talking about Poseidon and Hades gear and stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah, the Poseidon gear though, I'm pretty happy with it. I picked it up and I and as I picked it up, it's like wow, this is well worth trading out for my Waterworks gear. Very very happy with that as well. Well, good. So, Snipes, what, what type of wizard are you playing right now? Are, you know, are you getting ready to start a balance? Is that why you're asking? Or you have a balance you're already working with? I know I've had a lot of, a lot of good times with this balance guy. I started him. Basically, this whole stream is based off of my balance wizard. Um, started with him from um, point zero and so from level zero, and we're taking him all the way up to max. So we're playing about you know two to three hours per stream and it's been about a month now and we're having a lot of fun with it ah oh, you have a storm oh that sucks the storm lord glitch is, uh, is storm lord quest is glitched wow and that's that's like a major major spell for storm storm lord is super critical i think mm. And Zenga, you said you so you got two characters your death which is 58th moment yeah and ice level hmm, nice playing with a buddy i think that's one of the best ways to play wizard 101 me and my daughter kimberly smash she also streams wizard 101 she's she loves it we actually um we have a pair i have i have a a um, myth wizard and she has a she has a storm wizard and what we do is we pair those guys up and we go through we go we basically um you know stream and I actually we actually started off as a YouTube let's play back back when we first started and that's on my YouTube channel but we um we we stream our 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 myth and our and our um and our storm wizards together right now since she's streaming on the second channel we're trying to figure out the best way to do it ah you don't plan to do these without it very cool yeah that's it's you know it's kind of tough when you when a major spell like that that's a really um, big part of that character. That, that's crazy. That's glitched. Like you know, I have I have a pet. I like I have a I have a um I have another quest that's glitched. The um the yard birds is glitched with my balance guy, so I can't ca I can't gather all the yard birds over in Grizzleheim, which is kind of frustrating. So that's just sitting there undone because I can't find them all because it won't. Well, actually, I found them all, but it won't register with me. Oh, after you get your death to 130, probably level 140 will be released. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that we'll see a nice, um, nice level increase, and some, and maybe possibly a new, the beginning of a new um, arc of worlds here. You know, I think there's been some, some discussion about that, that we might be able to see that. So I'm looking forward to it. Yep. And, um, I mean, they've already got, you know, they've already got their next level gear with uh, Rangoon, Rangoon gear and everything and stuff that you can craft, you know, which is the highest level gear currently, you know, so I'm kind of looking forward to that too. Yeah, it'd be nice to have up to level 150. In fact, I would, you know, I would love to see that happen before, um, well, before I get up there with my balance. Because I hate it when you're when you're doing quests or any experience, but then you're capped out already. I mean, it's you know it's okay, but I mean I'd rather not do that. I don't I don't want to put any Ooh, elephant pedestal. There we go. 
I don't want to put I don't I don't want to put any of my experience and not gain value for that experience as I'm going up. Ah, there we go. Ooh, a prestige level to reset your level one with prestige one that adds thirty percent. That could be interesting. That's an idea I hadn't thought about. Ah, uh, yes, we are in the Elephant Graveyard. I love the Elephant Graveyard. This is one of the coolest places in the world here. Greetings, wizard. With a new world, two more tiers at the start. I can see that. I think there's a lot of ways they could do it. Elisa, the first queen, the spirit. spirit of the That's the idea. To drive the shadows from this sacred place. Okay, we can help you with this. Me of my power. Very, very good. Go to the drum house where we house our magical instruments. Clear the webs. Oh, that's cool. Spider. Yeah, they could do both. I agree with you, Zenga. That's that's good insight on that. Okay, so we have to clear spider webs. I forget. Hopefully, hopefully we can get through here, not too, not too quickly. Oh, oh. Okay, so it's second step boss fight. Enter the drum house in the elephant graveyard. There we go. Very cool. Yeah, they could add both. It's got to take some time, really. You don't know what spells to add, really. Yeah, I, well, you know, I with a with a company like this and a game like this, you know that they've already got... Oh, yuck. Uh, okay. That they've already got some sort of plan going. Yeah, how to balance prestige and damage gear. Yeah, I agree. They've already got some sort of plan going. So it's just a matter of how they're going to implement the next, you know, because none of this stuff just happens overnight. It takes time to program. It takes time to plan, you know. Oh, did I leave it in this particular one? That's okay. I'll just go ahead. And we need to get raw charged up and ready to go. Yep. But, yeah, those are, those are good points, and I think those are things that I could see happening. Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, I would like to see I would like to see a new, a new arc started, a new world. Um, I think that would get um, vets that are currently up there or they're maxed out at one level 130, you know, uh, something some new content to get into because I think a game like this, I think it lives and dies based on new content. So, you know, and not just totally changing up the way something works like they did on the last update. Although I do like a lot of what they did. Some of it I don't. I do like a lot of what they did on this last update. Like, for instance, I, you know, I've been, I played around with some of the pet stuff this morning with my death character. So I went through the new pet quest, went ahead and transformed the pet and did a quest or two on there. I think that's pretty cool. I kind of like the snack things. I'm looking forward to see how this will cast stuff will start up. Um, um, I'm experiencing the whole new higher cost for pets at that lower level too. Um, that way I can go ahead and I, I want to experience that because, you know, I'm not so negative about them raising the cost of pets. I think lower level characters, you know, should start off with a more beginner pet and as they get more, as they, as they, as they grow more, then get into the more advanced pets. I don't think, you know, I don't, I don't think, you know, level 20s and below should be able to get like a maxed out high end pet that gives them critical bonuses. It's just me. You know, so to me, I, I kind of like the way they balance that in a couple ways. You know, um, not so thrilled about the about 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 the expense, but you know, and they could have. I think they could have balanced it out a little bit differently too. In some ways, it might have been even more welcoming by the community. But for the most part, I thought I thought I thought a lot of what they did was good. Um, I don't like the way that how hard it is to compare gear now. At a glance, at a quick glance. Okay, after they add er everything, even level 5 gears should have a set for every class. Yeah, I agree. I think. I'm, I'm really looking for the class sets. Um, I'm excited. Like we were talking about earlier, um, you know, Waterworks, for, for instance, doesn't have, a, doesn't, have a, doesn't have a set bonus or anything left to it. But I'm sure they're trying to work out how to balance it all out so that it's still worth what they're trying to do. Balance level pets be allowed to have epic pets and mega pets be like level 60. Yeah, I could see that. I could I could definitely see them going in that direction too. I don't think that would be a bad way to go with pets. I personally think, you know, I like the fact that your pets now get experience as you are working quests. 
I think that's pretty good. I do like the way Training Pets works now. Um, the fact that you can master a game and then you don't have to play the game anymore. You can just take your pet to it, have them work it, then feed them. I really, really like that, you know. Um, and adults would be level 15. I could see that. that. That's a way it could work out for sure. Okay, maybe Ra will come out of his hiding for this for this round right now. Yep, I could see that, Zenga. That's that's not a bad thought, not a bad way to do that. You know? My goodness. Here we go. Yep. Another reason why I started my death all over at level zero is I'm starting him as a PvP guy, too. So I'm going to start playing PvP with him and see if I can't figure out the secrets how to be a good PvP player. You know? Because I've never really played PvP with any of my other wizards. It was just never something that I... Nice, Ra, you have done your job. Good job, you know. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that as I'm trying to, trying to figure out how well I can do PvP. And I think, I think Death would be a good PvP guy. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's I'm, I'm, I'm going to grow him up as a PvP, as a PvP wizard. So, I mean, definitely going to do quests and everything like that as well. But, uh, but I definitely want to play him with, P, with quite a bit of PvP. Just to stack two blades and hit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take that advice. Ah, uh, level 10 ice PvP guy. I think, you know, I think ice can be really good depending on the strategy you take. You know, um, I, I, I definitely think that's a really great idea, Snipes. An ice PvP guy? For sure. I heard one of the most frustrating PvP guys to fight is, a, is like a, a really good myth guy, you know. I, I, from what I from what I've heard from others, that a really good myth PvP player you can be really frustrating to fight against. You know, I, I when I restarted my myth guy, I, I, I was thinking about doing PvP spot. with him, but then I just kept working quests with my daughter because we would team up with that particular wizard. So um, got kind of caught up with all that. So now I got to play some drums in some locations. So that we can play strums on graves. Yes. There we go. Let's go do it on this side. Okay, death PvP is really okay. And then Zenga also said, yeah, for death you might want a deer knight pet for early game. Yeah, you're right about that. Um, I know. I know. As soon as I get to the point where I can farm death knight, that will definitely be a big deal. You know. But then, you know, a lot of people say the best strategy is just to make sure you have a good set of treasure cards and every every time you go in. Okay, let's go talk to the queen. The queen. But yeah, so I'm I'm looking forward to that. Oh, Mr. Ghostcaster has appeared. Nice. Glad I didn't get pulled in there. Very Perfect. cool. Yep. Very good. So Hey guys, so if you're just joining the stream, just to give you a little bit of information about me and the stream, um, I teach science for a living, high school, uh, junior high science actually, and I love playing games, so I'm having a great time playing one of my favorite games, Wizard 101. I stream four times a week, twice for Wizard 101 and twice for Minecraft, because I also run a Minecraft server and have a Let's Play. If you kind of like my content, I encourage you to go ahead and check my YouTube out, in fact, just so you know, YouTube, there we go. Go ahead and check my YouTube out. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not the right one. There we go. Go ahead and check my YouTube out if you like the content. I appreciate it, you know, every little subscription or follow really helps out the channel or every any like on a video does. And um, I, I do, do original content there. A lot of it's Let's Play and tutorial stuff but I also tend to put in a few of my I, t I tend to put my replays on there too although I'm thinking about maybe doing a separate channel for the stream replays for right now but um, this this particular stream is all about um, oops let's get the do I got the right one on no nope. this this particular stream is all about taking my balance wizard to max and so we started the stream at level one and we've been going up for a few weeks now winterbane gear i like winterbane gear that's some that's some good stuff yeah for early game well 
I, I could probably get one of my other wizards to go ahead and craft it for him. So that's probably a good strategy there. I, I agree with you there. Okay, let's get a few of these out of the way. Oh, why did I do that? Eh, no big deal. Okay. Yeah, that, well, thank you, Zenga, for for the information. That That is good. I will definitely look into that. I know, I know that's solid stuff. Very, very nice. It's level focused too, though, so I'd still have to still have to get up to that level. But yeah, I'll definitely go for it. Oh yeah, I agree. It is really good crafted gear, and it makes life a whole lot easier while you're working your way towards waterworks for sure. Usually my strategy when I'm leveling up a wizard is as soon as I'm done with Malastair, hop into Winter Tusk, go ahead and get those recipes for that gear and craft it up as soon as possible. And I guess I'm kind of a little, little cheaty on that because I'll actually craft it with one of my other wizards and pass it on. I'm kind of, I'm kind of awful like that. Ah, uh, for Mount Olympus, only two Zeus items are enough to go until Celestia. Yeah, absolutely. But that might change with with um, set bonuses too. It, you know, I mean, um, I was I was looking at another video the other day, and I was looking, I was watching the set bonus that they added to, like, say, the Rangoon gear, and it, it looked like it really made made it worth taking the time to go ahead and get those other pieces of gear. So if that, so. I would expect that, like if they're doing it for the really high-end gear, I kind of expect it to come down and trickle down through all the gear too. Because I'd love to see it like on Mount Olympus gear, because you know that gear is not easy to grind for. You you have to go through quite a few fights to go through it. I mean, Waterworks, I think everybody's pretty used to Waterworks. Heck, I've grounded Waterworks for so many years. I mean, literally years I've been in one, I've had to grind the, grind the Waterworks gear. And, um, you know, so it seems like Waterworks, you always know how long it is, but it always seems to me like Mount Olympus or the Atlantis or even the Poseidon gear it takes some time to do it. Yeah, and I think that I think that makes that gear a whole lot more valuable, Snipes. And I believe that's their intention is to get you to, you know, do a little more grinding, maybe do a little more collecting or at least award those that take the time to grind and collect that gear out because it takes a long time to pull some of that gear sometimes you know it's not like it's it's not like it drops like the first three shots you know um like i was pr i was pretty happy that i got my i got my for my bounce guy when i did the waterworks stuff i was pretty happy that it only took me five times to get my full waterworks set you know i was i was pretty lucky usually it takes a whole lot of time yeah, I feel like you're missing the Zeus helm and the piece. It's not worth it to get that last piece. Yeah, like like with this guy, I never got my I never got my Zeus helm, but I did get my Zeus robe and my Zeus boots, and that got me all the way to Waterworks, or should I say, all the way to um to the Winter Tusk gear. Yeah, I think I think you're pretty pretty on on right about that, Zanga, for sure. I would agree. That I would definitely agree with that. Would this be enough? Now nah, we might as well just wait for two more pips and definitely kill them both off. You never got your Zoots boots? Yeah, I, I I didn't get my Zoots boots for any of my other guys, but I did get get did get them this time around when I was playing um, playing with this guy right here. Now if I can now if I can just find the time to go back and get my Poseidon boots, I think I'll be ecstatic. I've already like grounded a couple times. And I still haven't gotten boots after a couple times through. I'm hoping maybe the, the next time I go through, I might be able to get those boots and move on. Wow, Power Nova brought the brought the light that time. Personally, I think Power Nova should Power Nova should be one pip lower. I think Power Nova is, too, is just too many pips, because honestly, Power Nova and then one more pip you get like one more pip you get um you get raw. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Doesn't make any sense. But hey, you know. Oh, I still have to feed these guys? Great, another fight. Let's do it. Very good. You guys got me talking so much, I'm, I'm like forgetting where I'm, what I'm doing. Okay, so you hope your duo... Oh, okay, Olympus will be more droppable because I do have insane crit and hitting. <laughs> yeah, that would I would agree there, for sure. Yep. 
15k. Let's go ahead and charge these things up so we can get in there. Diamonds, how are you doing? So happy to see you in the stream today. Fantastic, I'm doing great. I'm just here with my balance guy and we're finally in the elephant graveyard. Hoping to get all the way through elephant graveyard today. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, I think the I think the other day you, you might have had like a rough day or something. I can't remember, but I'm glad you're doing good. Hey. Love and Safari. So which wizard are you finishing Safari with? Because I know your fire wizard is already way up there. You know. You finish your Winter Tusk tomorrow or the day after. Yeah, that's awesome. Winter Tusk is one of my is one of my favorite storylines. I I really like the Winter Tusk storyline. I like the the Titan and the Titan Sons and that whole that whole Grandmother Raven. One of my favorite storylines in the whole game. Ah. Okay, so you're going to do some questing on ice and get your fire wizard maxed out. That's what I thought you were doing, Diamonds. Do you, now, you've so I guess, so since you're in Zafaria today, is I, I'm assuming that's your ice guy. That's cool. Well, let's keep it going. Let's see here. Mm. <laughs> okay, your ice is in Crocotopia. So your fire's in Zafaria? I thought you were farther ahead than Zafaria, Diamonds. I thought you were like up there in um what do you call that place? Oh, you're in Empyria. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, so you're finishing Safari today. You went back to do side quests. Okay, you're doing a you're doing a Kimberly Smash move. I see. I see. There we go. Not in Safari. I get it. I understand what you said. Yep. Oh, well, that comment up earlier. That's my fault. I just, I was, yeah, yeah. It's just, just me misreading things. Yep. English is hard today. Yeah. Well, you said you were finishing Safari, but I figured, but I finally put it together that you were just finishing Safari. Yeah. That's why I was, I was the confused one, for sure. You know? Oh. <laughs> yeah, just 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 my miscommunication spells, yes, for sure. Okay. Come on, Ra, you're supposed to finish those guys off. Do I have to start doing all the hard work around here? Okay, well, let's see, let's throw a blade up and then we'll be able to finish them off with some with some desert storm, some sandstorm. Ooh, you set up your cash potato farm. I was pretty happy. I just planted two couch potatoes for my wizard right here. I'm going to have to go back, though, to um, to Winter Tusk and farm some more couch potatoes. Okay, Zenga, thank you so much. Take a moment. Take a break. Appreciate all the chat. Hey, guys, I love all the chat. Anybody who ever wants to hop in, if you want to enjoy or be part of the conversation, you are more than welcome. We do not have to stay on any particular topic, although we're talking a lot about Wizard 101 today. That's fantastic, too. But chat is always open to anybody, so I appreciate you guys going. And chat's what makes the stream fun for me, and I'm sure it makes it a lot more fun for you guys, too. So enjoy the interaction. Wow. Hammered me, didn't he? Okay, so here let me throw something out to everybody on stream who's watching everything. What are what is your favorite spell? Do you have a favorite spell animation or a favorite spell cast you like a lot? There's so many cool ones to choose from, but do you have a favorite? Lord of Winter. That's a cool one. I agree. That is a cool one. The Lord of Winter. Nice. You know. I'm not sure. I think I would have to actually split mine up per Per um per school, I would think, you know. Let's see here. Um, oh, I have to collect these flowers, right? Nope. Got to find the right flowers. Collect blue calyanth. There's one there. Okay. Ah, you have an emotional connection with it. Well, that's cool. I think that's pretty awesome. You know. I think. Let's see here. If I had to pick a favorite spell, let's see here. I would have to say. One of my favorite spells is Efreet. I think Efreet's just a cool spell. I love it when he brings the hammer down. It's pretty awesome. The hammer, not the hammer. When he brings the big sword down like a big hammer. That has to be one of my favorite favorite spells. You know, 
The Freet's really cool. Um, the Volcano one's cool, but I don't know. I, I, you know what? Actually, one of my, my favorite fire spell, although Freet's pretty high up there, my favorite fire spell has to be the, um, the, the mice, the, the bombing mice spell. That, that's just well such done. a cool spell. I will combine the cani peppers and the caliantha flowers into nice. enchanted Nice. Oh, Zancan, Zanclan kids. So, soon I can quest with you. You got your storm to Celestia. The end of it, that's nice. You, you'll, you may catch me. Oh, the penguin. Yeah, that penguin cannon one. That is awesome, Snipes. I, that, that's a, that's a neat spell. Yep. I remember the first time I saw the penguin cannon one. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, raging. I forgot about the raging bull one. Yeah, that is that that's that's neat. Okay, let's purify this stuff. And uh, let's purify this one. Nice. And now we have to go to cold pool in an elegant. Ooh, Ooh, it's cold. Okay. Very cool. Raging bull scorching scimitars. Yeah, now you're getting to some of the higher spells I've never really gotten a chance to use yet, which is cool. Okay, now we gotta go to the hot pool. Oh, okay, I wasn't paying attention. Ah, snipes. I think all over I like the update for the pets, even though the cost more of the XP for a quest makes it much nicer to raise them. I agree, I think it does. And I think it's, and, and because I think, I think what was happening, I think one of the reasons why they made a lot of the changes that they made was that it was really easy to get an OP pet really early in the game. And I, th I think they just wanted to up the difficulty a little bit more on that. You look much stronger and healthier. We and because I mean, you know, like I was questing early on with a guy, and he had the he was a death guy, and we were probably in our level thirties, right? So he was um he was a death guy, and I quested for him with like a couple things, but then I then I ditched him because all he was doing. I think all the cards he had in his deck were the cards from his pet, and his pet had a scarecrow, and um, he just basically he had a scarecrow. He had critical bonuses on his pet, and um, so basically every fight was him saving up enough pips to do scarecrow with his critical bonuses and his blade. And so it was just like, well, dude, I mean, there's like no, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> it just wasn't wasn't much fun to me. It just seemed to like it over OP'd him so much for the levels he was playing, you know. But that's just me. That's just me. And that's, I, I think, the balancing was necessary. Zenga is back in the chat, guys. Fantastic. Nicely done. Okay, Place Queen. Place the burning coals on the grave markers to okay. summon the drummers. Their mystical rhythm will open the bridge. Okay, so let's do that. Hey, we're we're doing pretty good here. We might be able to save this guy. Okay. Jumbo, Jumbo. Lead us to perform a battle song. We will do anything for Queen Elisa. Our nice. Will open the way for you. Ooh, that was cool. Really like Safari. It stirs the heart to hear them play again. It's well, fantastic! So That's awesome, Zenga. Morgan's agents plundered my okay. tomb to disrupt Rupt my your focus. focus. Good. Are, however, if you can collect my grave okay. items, that they it's never that easy. It will give me the power to go to the lesser tombs and battle Morgan's agents for my bracelets, robes, ring, and tusk ornaments. Great. Bracelets, robes, ring, and tusks. So that's four fights right there. Thank you. Maybe, maybe they won't be so bad, right? Right? Okay. Like I said, I always underestimate how long these quests are. Okay. <laughs> well, hopefully they're not boss fights. Hopefully they're just um just minion fights. Ada, no, no, that's a boss fight. Ada raise a whip. Yep, yeah, that's a boss fight. Oh, it'll be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and get our deck up. There we go. Okay. Wizard quests are fun if you have company. I agree. I agree. I, and I think I think when they sat down and they originally designed this game, the whole idea was for was for you work with a partner or a company. 
yep that you can chat with and have fun with um i think i think that was really the whole that was the main purpose when they sat down and they designed the game is they wanted you to be able to play with somebody and um, work together through the quests and i think that was the whole idea but i think as the game continued to grow you know more and more people just would sit there and play solo as as often as not you know but if you're going through with a partner like when like well, me and kimberly um my myth her storm it's a good pair and we can pretty much handle anything that comes against us yeah yeah i agree I agree. I agree. This is more of this is more of a collaboration game, and it works better if you're if you're paired up or questing with somebody as opposed to trying to solo it all yourself, you know. And I think as you know, the way it progressively gets harder is examples of why that is, for sure. Especially if you're just if you're just playing on level, you definitely need that that additional that additional bus. Let's see here. How do we want to do this? Let's do it this way. Storm is the pest PvE class because of the Tempest. Tempest is a crazy powerful spell. Yeah, you know, that that is, I, you know, I know many, many Storm Wizards that they just basically make their career on Tempest. You know, and, and, that's, and that's true. At the same time, you know, I find there's a lot of parallels in, in, um, in Judgment. Because Judgment is also that very same type of powerful spell that you can get a whole lot out of because of the nature of how it powers up, for sure. Okay, why? I don't want to delete any more of those. Let's throw that on there. Snipes, okay, so you've been playing with a friend and he's a fire and I'm ice. Yeah, straight support like that. Yes, and that's one of the reasons why me and, me and my daughter went Storm and Myth is because we take care of each other's lacks and stuff. We don't have to worry about prisms a lot of times when we go into boss fights and stuff. Makes it just makes it easier and a lot of fun to play. Yeah, you're right. Le Tempest can be used at any level because it just depends on how many pits you have. It's a very, like I said, crazy powerful spell. And um, Judgment is like that as well too. I think they would both be good PvP spells for sure. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if I can't make this one go away. Yep, there we go. Throwing up the tower shields. Love those ice guys. Fantastic. Hmm. Ah, really? So death is number two in your opinion and fire number three. Now, are you talking about PvP there, Zanga? I think death is pretty strong. Storm definitely is super strong. Um, fire, yeah. Ah, uh, it can survive more in fire because of the insane damage. Yeah, I can see that for sure. PvE, yeah. I think fire is really, really good against bosses. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and just throw that out right now. And let's go get a healing spell up. The amount of tower shields? Well, well, Snipes, Ice ice has the hardest time there in Winter Tusk. I can, I can attest to that. My Ice character, that, will, that wizard and me, we just, we just grinned and we just, you know, did our best. And it was, it was a grind. I'll tell you what, Winter Tusk has so many Ice bosses in it. You know? You're just happy to get through it if you're an ice wizard. <laughs> Tornado away with me scarecrowing them? Yeah. That's 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 a that's a good strategy right there. Like um like when when I was playing with my myth and my daughter's tempest, well yeah, my daughter's storm, she'd have tempest, I'd have my frogs, and between the two of us, you know, we could just knock them knock them silly most of the time. It wasn't it didn't really seem like it took that much effort to get it. Wow. See see how she just, like, came out of nowhere with a huge hit? Love, love these guys. Okay. Yep, and so that, that works really well with us as well. And then, you know, um, if you don't use Monstrology and you play, like, solo or 
sometimes duos. Monstrology is a huge, huge help if you are if you are using it um, to make to make um, minion cards and stuff. A lot of people laugh at me when I talk about monstrology, but I think it's a, I think it's one of the more powerful weapons the game gives you. Yeah, Tempest is pretty OP for sure. Yeah, like I like with my myth guy. My myth guy, if I was do if I was if I was if I had to pick a wizard just to solo, if I wanted to try to solo as much of the game as I could, um, at this point in the game, where, with all the different types of schools and everything, um, myth would rank really high for me as far as um, as far as as far as a solo wizard, for the simple fact that let's go ahead and heal one more time, for the simple fact that monstrology gives a myth wizard such a huge advantage as a solo as a solo player you know so that's I don't know if you guys have really dug into monstrology that much but it's it's super cool for for, for myth super cool for myth in, in soloing and doing in doing uh, doing that okay let's see here well let's go ahead and get this gal ready to go let's go ahead and get that up what about death? Well, death's pretty cool, you know. I think death with um, Deer Knight and um, a Scarecrow. I mean, death's a, death's a strong character just for the simple fact that you know he can basically heal themselves, you know, and that and that just that's what that's what makes death so powerful. So if you're able to get those big healing spells out all the time, then you know you're gonna you're gonna survive a lot more than most. <laughs> On 100 defense, yeah. Death, death is really strong, and I think that's something to consider for sure. But you know, myth, you can load yourself up with four minions in a large boss fight. I mean, death is only as good as how long you can stay alive. You know, like if you get into a fight where you, where you can't get your pips up fast enough, and they hit you three or four times really hard. You know, you might not, you know, I mean, it's, it can be dicey, but it can be dicey for most schools too. There's, there's weaknesses with every school. With myth, with myth, you can have one minion out and you can have two monstrology minions out at the same time. So you can actually have, so you can actually pull out four, you know, a full set of, a full, I mean, a full set of guys. And that's one of the, huge advantages that a lot of people don't realize you can do with myth with monstrology so like for instance you could have you know let's say if you're a level 50 myth you could have Talos there in the first thing which is their high level minion until you get your second minion and then you could have here you could have a um, monster that you caught in monstrology and another monster you caught in monstrology oh it's not broken it's it's just good but not a lot of people think about it or even use it which is really kind of funny because it's I don't call it OP because some of those fights can be pretty challenging with a myth guy but it does allow does allow you to do some things that some other characters can't do especially if you're in a long protracted battle too so there there's there can be a lot of advantage to it I, I wouldn't say it's broken I think Honestly, when they rolled out Monstrology, see, one of the things they used to always push with Myth back in the early game, like when, you know, like I've been playing since 2008, you know, and they used to always say, well, Myth, they can summon lots of, they can summon minions next to themselves. Well, you know, but then you look, every, every school can summon a minion, okay? Who I want to save, so we'll pass. Every school can summon a minion, and minions are helpful sometimes, sometimes not. The higher level minions much better, especially in the higher level dungeons, of course. And Myth had a variety of minions to summon, but you could only summon one at a time. And honestly, because of the way the Myth spells and everything leveled out, you really needed that, that bonus of a minion to really help you out. Well, and honestly, you still had a hard time. So Myth was always considered a pretty weak character class or character school by most. Um, so when they added that key to Monstrology where you could like actually be able to be able to fill out a whole thing with multiple monsters and stuff, I really think that actually helped level Myth up to a point where Myth is now a, a, a very valuable class to play with. Um, made it very um, desirable, especially if you 
um, learn how to play it a particular way. So I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's OP necessarily. I think it was something that was necessary to make Myth a more competitive school. You know. Yeah. Well, that's the big. That's the big value for death is that is that being able to heal yourself from those spells. There we go. All done. As the spider witch fades, she leaves behind a glittering pair of elephant sized See, like, look at this. I can, I can hover over the element, but I have to hit control now to see what type of spell is on it. Okay. I hate, yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I, I mean, I think they should, I think the spell card should come up when you look at it. Yeah, well, you know, I, I don't know. I've played life, and that was the only character I said ah, I'm bored, and I and I stopped playing that school. I played I played all the other schools at one point or another, and life's good. I mean, it just wasn't for me, you know. And so that was um that was my my experience with life. But if I had to solo, it would probably be. I mean, uh, although my balance is doing really really well, I, I'm I am so impressed with the balance school, having played it now for a while. But um, myth and myth and death would be two of my choices if I was doing a lot of um, soloing, for sure. <laughs> yeah, life life is boring without playing with playing in a group. So I agree. Wizard. <laughs> you are not even worth me sharpening my tusks. Okay, well let's go ahead and get these guys out of the way then. We have a death and life combo here. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so let's see here. Very, very good. So hopefully everybody is doing well on this Tuesday afternoon. I hope you guys all have some good plans for tonight. I think tonight we are we are doing, I don't know, I think we're doing Frito Pies at my house for dinner. And I'm really looking forward to dinner. I didn't eat lunch because I wasn't hungry, so I'm really looking forward to that. Ooh, nice. He blocked the critical. Makes my life feel better. Makes me feel better inside. Go and block that critical. I really do like the health I have at this level. I remember my my storm guy was still sitting at like 28 health or something like that. Okay, let's let's power up so we can hopefully knock this gorilla off his feet. Let's start there. Okay, well Zanga, thanks for coming in. Do appreciate it. You got to make sure, yeah, take care of those classes. Ooh, you, you are up late. Well, you go get some rest then. Thank you for stopping in and chatting on the stream. Um, I'll see you later this week, hopefully in another stream. I hope you have a good week today. Ooh, here we go. Forest Lords coming in strong. Bam, bam, and bam. Anybody else out there, don't forget, you can always hop in on chat. We have open topics. I love talking to you guys. Really helps, really makes the stream a ton more enjoyable and fun to play when I get some guys to talk. But of course, if you're lurking and you're just using for background, great, you do that too. Thank you guys for hanging out and hanging out and having some fun with me as I'm playing here. Okay, so let's see here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's just go ahead and see if we can't get a chance so we can do raw. Let's do it that way. Very nice. And there we go. Ooh. There's an example of one of those death spells right there. Super powerful. Those things are super powerful. Okay. Nice. Ugh, wizard support sucks. Yeah, that's not super great. Sometimes you having trouble. Oh, you're trying. Are you trying to get them to fix the? Um, oh, yeah, because of your um, storm problems. That sucks. You know, I, I, I once had to deal with them. I was I had a Macintosh that I was using for a while, and I once had to deal once had to deal with them trying to help me. You know, tech out why I was having trouble logging in with my Mac, and it was just. <laughs> it, it was a slow process. It was a slow process. For sure. You know. Okay, yes. Critical. Perfect. Perfect. May not be enough to kill him, but definitely will do it. 
So, trying to get a character transfer. Hmm. Took about a week for them to reply to your first ticket. Oh, uh, they need to get going. I mean, customer service is a key. That's a, that's a big deal. You know, I, I, I had a long career doing retail music instruments and stuff. I, I worked for a really big company, and I... And it was always about making making sure that customer was happy. That was that was always the key. And you know what? Customers are never happy when you take time and when you're slow on things. It's it's always an unfortunate fortunate thing. You know, especially when a lot of those things can be taken care of pretty quick if they just get the right person on it. Oh, great! Some death ninja pigs. And the weakness. Oh, I love getting hit with weakness. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's go ahead and toss that off, toss that off, put that on. I might have to take a couple of those pits and put a heal on just to go ahead and protect myself because these guys are known for doing some pretty big hits when you're not looking. Hmm, don't really need that, don't need that. Let's go ahead and do some healing hands action. Very, very good. Ah, just kind of made you mad? Yeah. If no reply within one day, ticket will be closed. Like, you can take a week, but I have less than 24 hours. <laughs> I 100% I agree with you on that, Snipes. Now, it could be that they are just... They just have so many tickets, they're so behind, but that means they need to you know, maybe readjust some of their support so they can get other guys on tickets as well. That way, you know, the wait time is not not as bad. You know, that's something something you gotta take care of. You gotta gotta keep people happy. You know. And um, yeah. Just not good. Well hopefully they'll hopefully they'll solve your problems soon and get that knocked out for you. Because that's that's always frustrating when you're having to deal with something when you paid for a service and you're trying to enjoy it, trying to have a good time with it. I, I agree with you there. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I had to bend over backwards to take care of something. And, you know, half the time, you know, especially when I was managing stores, if my salesperson just would have done the right thing in the first place, we would have been done with it. The customer would have been happy. Everything would have been great. You know, it's just, you know, just, yeah, part of the service industry, unfortunately. And, of course, with tech support, you know, when you only have so many guys handling all those things, sometimes it can be pretty challenging for them to get to it. Very cool. Okay, so. You know, the only thing I don't really like about the Poseidon gear, I mean, the robe I think is kind of cool, but the helmet just doesn't seem to match. That, that's my first thought about the way Poseidon gear looks. Is, is um, It just doesn't match. This doesn't seem to connect. Helmet just seems a little out of place. I'm not sure where they got that design from. I'm gonna have to look that up. You know, I mean, should be Greek, right? Because we're talking Greek, Greek type stuff. So the helmet should be Greek in design, you think? Well, you know. Anyways, very good. Okay, let's let's see here. A few more pips, and we'll be able to crush this guy like the ant he is. Very nice. So, what else is happening today? Well, you know what? T this week is... Hmm. I think we have an episode of Clone Wars. I don't know if any of you guys watched the Clone Wars, but we're getting down to the last couple episodes for the last season of the Clone Wars on Disney+. Plus. I'm looking forward to that. If you Also, another good thing, if you like Star Wars and if you liked the, the Rise of Skywalker, they're actually releasing that this week on Disney+. Plus if you're a Disney Plus subscriber, so that's good news if you're if you're a big Star Wars fan. Lots of Star Wars content being released on Disney Plus, so that's pretty exciting. Let's see. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. Oh, why did I do that? Judge Judgment. Do your judgment. We can get critical even better. Nice. Almost as if I put the order in. And it brought it right out. Ooh, I like that. 11,000. Very good. Nice big hit. 
Good. Okay. So we only have two more of these left to do. Let's go ahead and do them. Yeah, it was funny. I was running around doing all those fine quests for the queen there. I'm thinking, oh, elephant graveyard should go by quite quick. And then we got in here and I got four fights. Like, oh, oh, okay. Won't be, won't be quick, but we'll get through it. Let's go ahead and grab these. Like so. Very, very nice. And let's go ahead and get... Let's go ahead and take care of the newest, the new, the latest boss. This is Garuld. We're going to go fight Garuld. 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 Okay. Very, very good. Awesome. So just a quick shout out. First off, let's um thank you, Snipes, for the um, subscription today. Appreciate it. Everybody else who's followed in the last... 30 days. Thank you so much. You guys uh, just really encourage me. And it really is a lot of fun to play and to engage with you guys in conversation. Makes it makes it tons of fun. Yay! Another big Goliath bug. I think that's the cool part is when you finally get to Chrysalis, you get to see the homeland of all these bugs and everything. I think that's a cool thing. Very nice. It's like it wants me to do raw. Well... Let's go ahead and set it up for a big raw. <laughs> oh, you forgot how to access your old account, so you made a new one. Got the, oh, I see what you did. And then, oh, okay, so you're trying to combine both accounts. Very cool, very cool. Yep, well, they should be able to do that for you, think, right? Yep. I think, you know, like my daughter's account, um, she, she's she's old enough to have her own account now, but for the longest time, her account's like been under mine as a child account, so I, I'd have certain restrictions set on and everything. And we were just about ready to go through that process of emailing them so we could separate her account out, yeah, as well. One-time character transfer. <laughs> you know, I don't see why that would be so hard. I guess they're just trying to limit how often people are asking for that to happen, you know? It doesn't seem like it would be that big of a deal to do, so I don't see why they would put up such a fuss or have limitations on it. See, that's one of the things that um, some companies that are run by tech guys don't always get as far as the whole, um, whole customer experience thing. That's something simple, like, you know, like if a... I would think that'd be something simple for a customer to be able to do is if they want to combine accounts as long as they do verification with you and everything, you know, that it shouldn't be that difficult for them to do. And if they can make it a good customer experience, then you're going to have a good feeling about the whole place. But when they put rules like, when they start having little rules like that, that really turns customers off. I know this in retail because I try to avoid having little rules like that in the stores that I ran. Because little, rule, little rules like that would just turn off how a customer felt about their shopping experience and the experience as a whole, unfortunately. You know, but one time, yeah. Well, why, why that? I mean, seriously, I mean, are you guys getting inundated every day with calls to combine wizards? You know, I mean, my goodness. You know, it certainly can't be that bad. <laughs> or at least that's my, that's my thought. I mean, seriously, it can't be that bad. But, you know, guys in IT, let's be honest with you, you know, because because I've, I've known a lot of IT people over the years. Some really, really, really good ones and some ones that just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> You're in IT? You know, well, and it's not that they're bad people. It's just that they're not so much engaged in great customer experience most of the time. Say, like at most, a one-week cooldown for a character transfer? Yeah, I think that'd be okay, you know? I mean, obviously, if it's a big thing and they're worried about fraud and stuff like that, obviously, you want to be very, very careful about that. But, you know, I don't know. It's just that, to me, IT guys tend not to want to have to go in and change things if they don't have to. That's just <laughs> that's just how they are, you know, over, overall. it's They would rather avoid it. You know, than have to than have to um, recode something or change something. But hey, you know, that's life. That's life. 
Come on, just kill her off. <laughs> Ooh, sorry about that, guys. Hand hit the mic. That was loud in my ears, too. Ooh, very cool. Okay, so we're moving into 5 o'clock. Hopefully everybody's having a good afternoon. Okay, so yeah, I think I need to go ahead and start prepping myself for a heal. Very good. Well, I hope that all works out for you, Snipes. I hope it gets taken care of quick, well, quicker than it has been with little fuss and muss. Yeah, I knew he was going to come out and hit me big. Jeez. Wow. Okay. Nice. Okay, as soon as I get pit, two pips, I gotta do it. Gotta do it. Can't take the risk he's gonna come out, hit me, hit me another, do another thousand point damage hit on me. Mm -mm, those, those bosses can be kind of tough sometimes. Anyway, so, yep, so I'm kind of looking forward to all the new Star Wars stuff. There's going to be quite a few things coming out this summer, too. So, even even with all the, all the um, well, all the coronavirus stuff, shutting stuff down, there's still some good things that are happening. So I'm kind of looking forward to that, you know. I know in my state, we are actually getting some relief or should we, some, some restrictions are going to be relaxed. We're going to be able to go out um, to some restaurants. There'll be some more social, there'll be some social distancing rules that we got to keep and everything. But I think that's going to be really, really good. It's going to help uplift everybody and how they feel because I know a lot of people are getting really depressed with all of the, um, with all of the quote unquote um, self quarantine, self isolation, or shelter in place, whatever you want to call it. And so I think. You know that's going to be really good over this next over this next week, at least in our state. I hope, you know, um, some of you guys will, who live in different areas that your places will get to that point too quickly, so that people can, you know, get out and, you know, you know, get to see people again. Because you know when you when you don't engage with people, you know, people are social. You know, even 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 introverts, you know. Um, want want contact, and so that's I think that's one of been the hardest things socially about this whole pandemic issue is that it's it's really shut that down a lot. And let's not even talk about economic stuff, economic issues that have that have arose because of it. Okay, we got we're doing pretty good here. Let's see here. Let's wait for a few more pips, and I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. Let's see what else we can get. Any more enchants up here to boost things? Okay, so, while we're doing some Wizard 101, uh, I probably should have waited for that. Well, if I, maybe, 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 will she critical? No, no critical this time. Well, it'll be a good hit, even if there's no critical. Okay, so we're about halfway there. Let's go ahead and keep it going. Very good. Let's see here. So your best pet is an enchanted armament. I think I'm getting a may cast for some healing on it, using it for balance. Hmm, since it doesn't go with blade. Yeah, some of those armors I think are pretty cool for sure. Definitely, I would agree, Snipes. Some of those armors are pretty good. I know. I know every I know every class kind of has a favorite. I think a lot of people who play balance, they like to get the fox pet because the fox gives you a pretty good balance of stuff. Um, I know when I was looking through different pets, I was pretty happy with the battle eagle. I thought it was I thought it had a pretty good balance of of it, of, it, of damage and blades and such, and so that's why I went with it. Right now. Right now with my myth guy, I'm still looking for a pet that I'm happy with. 
you know, I haven't really quite found found one that I'm super happy with. I know my daughter, she, for her storm, she likes her storm cloud, or I forget what they call it. Yeah, they do have a name for it. But yeah, she, she likes that storm cloud that she has. It's very, very cool. Um, yeah, rain core, there you go, the rain core. With my ice, um, I have this owl pet that I picked up. It was a special edition pet that I had got like during one winter and I've never changed it out just because I think it's so cool. I really like the way the, the birds look as pets. So I have an affinity, like if I see a, a bird pet, I tend to, tend to go, ooh, I want that, you know. Oh, should I heal? Yeah, I should heal because he could come in and he could wipe me out. So it looks like I'm just gonna have to extend this fight just a little bit longer. Yep, 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 yep. So, but you know what? I like the kiosk, you know, and I think there's a lot of cool. Ooh, I like it when I critical heal. Very nice. Yeah, there's there's lots of cool pets to get in there, and that kiosk really made things a lot easier. Like back when they first started pets, and they first came out with the whole idea where you could breed them. Heck, I remember when you could when you had pets, but you really couldn't do much. You really couldn't breed them or anything. You just pick them up. But when they actually brought the whole breeding thing out. Um, that kiosk really was a big game changer on that on that stuff. Yeah, because it used to be if you, you'd have to find somebody that you could train that you could go ahead and breed with and everything, and that was that was a challenge, you know. So when they brought that kiosk out, that that made a big difference in trying to trying to get the pets you wanted. Okay, let's throw vengeance up. Maybe we can. Yeah, let's finish them off with the chimera. Yeah, I got a Chimera in pocket. We can totally do that. Let's throw up and let's go ahead and do that. Very cool. Ooh, but then I've got a faint. But a Chimera will do him. Yeah, let's put a faint on him too. Why not? Let's go ahead and take that. Let's go ahead and stomp him down. I think that's what I was missing earlier, was a faint. <laughs> yeah, finding the right pet, I think that's as much a part of, of, and I guess there's good pets for PvP versus good pets for, you know, just regular play too, so. Yep, I'm glad I went ahead and took the time and got that healing done. Ooh, there we go again. Okay, so let's go ahead and set her up. That's a different one. Let's put that one up there as well. Very good. That's just waiting for the pips. The new spell animations for the for the early game spells are really cool. Like um, like lightning snake when it comes down looks really neat so uh, the ice beetle looks way better than it used to has its own style and everything so those that's been another neat update that I thought was really cool that they added as is, is those animation updates are always always welcome adds a lot to the thing I think I can kill him with just her so let's just do that and finish this fight because I still got one more to do before I can even get into the before I can even get into the um, crypt or the final crypt. The final crypt? Yeah, we'll call it the final crypt. I'm sure there's another name for it. Oh, yeah, great. She's probably going to do like 10,000 damage or something. There we go. Yeah. My goodness, girl. Why didn't you do that the first time? With a quick polish on your robe, it's good as new. Fickle pickle. I've never I've never planted a fickle pickle before. Cool. Nice. Okay. So, let's go ahead and Let's find our last guy. Doc here, Bloodthorn. One more wisp would do it, and we are ready to go. Okay, let's get this last piece so that she can, so, so that the Ghost Queen can be happy. We want to make the Ghost Queen happy, so she'll let us in, help us get in. Okay, find Docker Bloodthorn. Very good. Mm hmm. A storm and death combo. Very good. Shadow Blight! I'll splinter your wand. I'll splinter your wand. 
I, I still think um, I still think Wizard City and Crocotopia have the have the best have the best um, initial um, what do you call those things um, banter's yeah banter's at the beginning of the fight I, I still think they still think they win by far than some of the newer bosses although I, although I get surprised here and there I get a, there's a pretty good one here and there as well you know uh, let's see here so mm. excuse me sorry about that my goodness this always takes longer than I think it does you know it always takes a little bit longer than I think it does to get through some of these levels Okay, so let's take out this winter, this, this black tusk cult. Okay, I've already powered him up. Let's power her up. And... Hmm. Let's get some blades up as well. Now, what other types of pets are out there? I know the Gulcher is very popular. My daughter got herself also a Gulcher for her storm. And she likes him. He gives some cool blades. Gulchers are pretty neat. Yeah, I think that'll do it. And then if we get raw in good shape. Very nice. There we go. That's a cool animation. I really do like a lot of their spell animations. They're all really pretty neat. And I and it's, it's a, I don't know. I, I still get that excitement when I see one I haven't seen before. It's like, what? I've never seen that spell before. I think that's part of the fun of trying to play all the schools and trying to level them all up, is just that you can experience different ones and different spells you haven't seen yet, you know? Okay, Ra. Oh, sh yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw the balance blade on just so that I can maybe hopefully get a little more damage because we do want to knock you out of here. goodness though okay there's doc here now he's getting ready to come at me i gotta watch him because he's storm and he'll use those crazy bolts and insane bolts you know and i have oh my goodness thousand out of that jeez okay raw you have to at least get rid of one of them oh see here we go Whew, that's those are scary. Those are the most scary spells because when they when they hit you, are you what? Oh my goodness! Now I have to do raw without the uh, fizzling, fizzling. You just cracking me! Oh my goodness, they are on a tear in this dungeon. Raw. You you gotta get a you got you gotta make this you gotta make this count. Okay, cross my finger for a critical because I really need a critical right now. Nice. Okay, so that at least we got rid of the black tusk guy. Whew, but my goodness. I gotta get a heal on myself quick. Uh-huh. There we go. Very, very, very nice. Alrighty then, guys. So, plans for the summer. Who has some cool plans for the summer? I know I still got some things to think about. I think I'm going to be doing a lot of streaming over the summer just because it gets really hot out here. Now, my brother, he runs an air conditioning business, so if he needs extra help, I might might get a few hours working for him, which is always fun, you know. But does anybody have some cool plans? One of the things I was thinking about doing was taking my wife and maybe going down to the Texas beach or so. Working on Max or Wizard or two. Cool. Very nice snipes. That's Those are good plans. I, th I think we're going to take a trip at some point this summer and go down to the Texas beach and, beach and hang out. There's a, there's a few nice beaches down there. It'd be good to get out in the sun. I think I'm going to, especially after this quarantine, I, I need to start making some more time to get out in the sun. For sure. I need that vitamin D. Okay, here we go, Stormzilla. Hopefully I got enough health to 
survive this. Yeesh. Okay. Not good. Not good at all. I'm glad I'm still in it, but my goodness. Um, let's, I need to just get rid of some of these extra ones right here. Okay, nothing I can do right now, so we'll pass. This is where it gets scary. Because he could, with the right spell, knock me out. And it doesn't take much either. And no healing spells. Let's go ahead and get rid of... Okay, let's cross our fingers. Maybe judgment will critical. Maybe. Crossing our fingers. Oh, I need a need a critical there. My goodness, that's not gonna get rid of that. Okay. Well a faint would have been nice a little bit earlier game. 684. Don't need that. Don't need that. What I need is I need him not to kill me. Okay, guys, it's going to be close. Oh, no. Oh, whew. That could have gone so bad. You're stuck on Alicane Swift Arrow. <laughs> no mana. Oh, yeah. I, that sucks. That sucks when you're out of mana. Oh, my goodness. Okay. This should finish him off. Okay. Oh, no, please don't. Okay, here we go. Oh, this might be it. Thank goodness he already used the... Uh, oh, oh, thank goodness I blocked that. He was on 54 health. Oh, that's tough, Snipes. Oh, my goodness. Thank goodness he didn't have his blade up. I almost died there. That was almost the end of this fight. Well, looks like we got it. Crazy, crazy, crazy. ornaments in a small silk pouch. Very nice. Well, let's take that silk pouch and let's go talk to the Queen Lisa. Very nice. Finally got through those fights. Very good. Okay, so what's coming up here? Well, I think I think we're really close to being able to go into the main crypt and rescuing the prince, which is what we've been trying to do this entire time. We just need to go talk to the queen so she can get that um, barrier lowered. Okay. Anybody out here? Let's go around out this way. We'll do a spin right over here. And there we go. And, oh, nice. Love it when I don't get pulled into a fight. You retrieved all of my relics. Yes, ma'am. Yes. My power is restored. Good. She can move the wards. The that prevented us from entering my tomb. I will meet you inside. Time to move some monstrous TCs over. <laughs> Uh, you know, why can't I jump on something like that? I wish they had fixed it. Uh, you know, why do I jump anyways, honestly? You know, if we're going to have a jump feature, at least allow us to jump up or over things. I w that's one thing I wish they would fix in the um, interface. Okay, here we go. Last dungeon of this area. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Okay. I can't remember if this is a really drawn out fight or not. I think it's kind of like Zamunda. So let's let's see how it goes. Oh, I haven't done this in a while. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this puzzle. This is the antechamber okay. to my final resting place or what was supposed to be a place of this room has okay. a devious secret to it. Without me to guide you, I'm glad you, you are here to guide me, script. Queen Elisa. You must step on the center drum to begin a rhythm of passage. Oh boy. Then follow the pattern exactly, or we'll never be able to progress. Oh boy. Okay, let's see if I can't do it right the first time. Okay. What? No? Oh. Oh, here we go. There we go.
There we go. Too late try again. Okay. Okay, here we go. Don't want to be too slow. Oh, almost there, almost there. There we go. Sorry, I'm turning a little bit into a sweat there. Let me hurry up. I don't wanna don't wanna miss it. One more. Oh man. Okay. Too late. Try again. Okay, here we go. I don't know how it was too late. I was like right on top of it. Okay, phase one completed. Okay, moving on to the next phase. Okay, here we go. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on. Yay! Nice. Okay, let's talk to her. Ooh, sorry about that. Just Well done. We make a good pair. I'm happy, we? yes, absolutely. The next chamber is dedicated to my trapping. Very good. Replace my grave items. Of, but beware! Morgan's magician has set watchers to into. Once you are free of them, race to the central chamber where you will find the prince. Hurry and rescue him. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Okay, so I have to defeat those two guys. Very good. Let's go ahead and go to the other deck. And let's hit them up. Okay, Shadow Web Wraiths, let's, let's do this dance. Very nice. Okay, so, very good. Yeah, so I think, yeah, I'm going to try to do a beach trip. I think my wife will really, really like that. We might even go visit Austin if, if, if quarantine gets let down over there and, you know, we can move around again and everything. So, looking forward to it. Need, need to stretch and get out of the house and do some stuff, especially over the summer, so I'm really looking forward to it as well. So, that's something I'll, I'll be excited to do. Hopefully some of you guys have some good plans, and hopefully we'll all be able to do those plans. I'm so looking forward to the fall, though, when I get to have classes and students again. This online school stuff, although ne necessary, is kind of like, oh, kind of miss, you know, not being, I kind of miss being in the classroom and doing, doing the day-to-day -day stuff with them. You know, I mean, you know, by this time of the year, I'd probably be really tired of them and re I'm ready to send them home by now. But uh, missing these last few weeks, because usually, you know, we have big like my robotics team will take a trip. And um, like last year, we went to a place, this place called Speed Zone, where they have go karts, um, drag racers, tons of games and everything. And so we went to a museum, then we went to Speed Zone and had a good old fun after after our year of competition and stuff. But we didn't get to do any of that this year just be, because of all the shelter-in-place stuff. So it's been unfortunate, you know. And I know uh, I know a lot of the kids are missing it, too. Okay. Ra. With any luck, Ra will knock them both out. Hey, but there's wisps in here, so it's not so bad. Ooh, nice. Critical. Okay, hopefully the last fight in here is not going to be too tough at all. In fact, we might might get to the to the Mirror Lake. Yeah, we just might make it there. The Mirror Lake. Very cool. That's the end. You know. And you get some mega snacks in the Mirror Lake too. That's cool as well. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, Lost Frog. I guess you've been over there lurking. I appreciate it. Hopefully you're having a great day today. Me, I'm having a great day. Let's see, you can't say you'd miss school by miss going over doing it all in line. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I know I know a lot of my students. Um, there we go. They they miss their friends. They miss engaging. I know some students, you know, learn better, you know, in a setting where they can ask questions and stuff. So I know that I know a lot of them are missing that. But that's that's it's OK. OK, try this again. There we go, ring, and then her final one over here. As you place and the that should item, oh, that should open the portal down there. The door opens. Very good. Oh, I wonder if I can get that picture. 
No. Some of the stuff you can grab when you're there. Very good. You can't say you would miss school. Well, you know, I think I think more than most uh, students miss their friends. Being able to have that engagement, you know, um, that constant daily fun, you know, that that's, that makes makes it worthwhile. I, I know a lot of my students are missing it, for sure. You know, I can see it in the emails and everything. By moon and sun, by bay okay. tree and shining mountain. There he is, by the prince. Sky captured in Miro Lake. Wards fall away and let me pop. Too late again, young wizard. Uh oh. Snake tail. Spiders, the mistress of shadows, the dark woman, the, the umbra, umbra queen. queen. I remember you. Yes. You were in Celestia, weren't you? We're here to Merle stop you. Umbra should be ashamed for sending a mere pop alone into the dark. You're just going to get bitten. Hmm, she's creepy. I have seen the dying Definitely of creepy. light. Your magic is nothing more than a candle spark in the cold, dark places. Well, she's cheery. <laughs> With the four sacred relics oh, no. of Safaria in my grasp, no one can stop me. Time to tear apart the council's barriers Here and we break go. the mirror. Titi, you have served me well. Your reward awaits you in the next world. Oh no, what have I done? Please, don't let them eat me. Okay, so we have regular shadow web haunts. Okay, very cool. So let's go ahead and... Well, there's four of them, but I have to defeat at least two of them. Okay, so let's defeat two of them. Very good. Oh, well, what else is happening? Anything neat to talk about? They gave me all four. Well, that's beautiful. Okay, well, let's... um. Let's mix, let's go ahead and get this going. We need we need Ra to be at his best for this because we need to knock these guys out before they kill me. 401. 401 is the toughest and the worst fights you want to get into. Or at least in my experience. I hate 401 four on one battles in this game. They are so lopsided. Because they can just, they can just, if they have the right pip spells or getting the right amount of pips, they can just hit you over and over and over and over and over again. Oh, and, oh, like that guy didn't hit me, but he'll, he'll hit me pretty hard this next time. You know, I'm surprised that I didn't get four, four of these right off the bat. And that takes off, that, that knocks out half your health right there. So that can be really challenging if you're in there alone. Yeah. That's okay. Last, pretty close to the last fight, I think. I don't think I have to fight Cece again. I hope not. I don't want to fight that. I don't want to fight that zebra again. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> he maxed it out. Let's let's go with Scarecrow. Why not? Okay. So we're definitely going to get hit next turn. Hmm. Not so good. Okay. Let's go ahead and clear. It. Well, no. Dang it. That was a mistake. That's okay. We're not dead yet. These fights can either go really, really well or really, really bad. Kind of hoping for the really well, because really bad would be bad. Okay. Well, they're all low on pips, but I'm low on pips too, so hopefully we can get a few more pips. We need to we need to make Ra make sure Ra is ready to go here. Okay, um, we have one sandstorm. Um, if I can't make it by then, I'm not going to make it. Okay, so let's go for it. Okay, so what we're looking for is I need an enchant so I can enchant Ra. And then um, I need a. Yep, I need a critical, is what I'll need. Ooh, pirate. Something like that. Uh, Charm the Lawyer. Man, they are killing me. Glad those guys took out some time to do some support there. Yeah, you go ahead and get some food snipes. I'm probably going to have to do some of that too in a little bit. Oh my 
goodness, and it just freaking didn't give me anything. Sometimes this kills me. Oh, I am not going to do a raw because I'm not, I wouldn't win with them. Okay, I need to get an enchant, so I'm going to hold out for an enchant. Okay. I really need to get that enchant. Oh, you guys don't have to attack. This is not looking so good right now. Not looking so good at all. I think I lost my opportunity. I messed up. Okay. Alrighty. This has to happen, otherwise I'm a dead guy. Okay. Crossing my fingers. Really need that algorithm to come through. Need that critical. Need that critical to happen. Yes! Whew. That was close. Good job. Ra gets a raise. Ra gets a pay raise today. Jeez, I was down to 637? Ooh. I've had some close fights today. That was that was that was dicey. Very, very good. So I can't remember if this is the last fight or not, or if I have one more. I'd be perfectly happy it being this being the last. Because then I can go to Mirror Lake. And I'm thinking since we had the whole speech by Morganth, this might be the last one. We'll find out here. Okay, so... Okay, I think it is. Very good. Okay. Now, it looks like he is not under a spell anymore. Thank you for not letting them eat me. Very good. And we got the whole picture. Fantastic. Thank you, wizard. Your schoolmate spoke highly of you. Ah. You just I am shamed by what I have done. Oh, it's not your fault, but dude. By magic, true. But I should have resisted Sitsi Snaketail and the Umbra. Let us confer with Queen Elisa, and then we can leave this place. Oh, she's here. Okay. Do not be ashamed, young prince. No, don't Only be ashamed. You're good. Only the most powerful of heroes can resist exactly. more dread agents. Thank you, dear wizard. Thank you. For chasing the shadows Pretty awesome. my tomb. And when you leave, I will transport Prince nice. to back. To we can have mother, peace Queen and everything. Ariana, Fantastic. Thank you for making me feel better. Very what good. Prophecy did the Umbra Queen mean? The mirror, the mirror will, break, will break. The, the horn, horn will call. call. I don't know. I don't know of any mirror. Wait, she must be speaking metaphorically. I bet uh -huh. my tusks she means lake. Mirror Lake, the sacred waters atop Shining Mountain. Mirror Lake always reflects the night sky. Legend says Very good. a council of light trapped a dark power beneath its surface. You must return to Baobab and tell mm -hmm. the counselors what you discovered. Sounds Start good to me. Counselor Vir Goodhart. Very, very good. Okay. Well, I'm going to grab that last wisp. That way I go back there in full strength. Okay, so we have now finished the last part of Zafaria, and we have the final dungeon. Very good. Vir Goodhart. Let's go talk to that guy. It's interesting that puts us right up here at the tree. Here we go. You rescued Prince Diziri? Yes, we did. Excellent. But the Umbra Queen is here? Oh, my. Uh -huh. This news of the Umbra Queen casts a shadow, shadow on, on our joy. joy. Okay. Still, know that you have done us a and great And then this will leave the people, yes. You must tell the other council. Afterwards, seek out in younger White Stripes and seek his counsel. Very good. That's awesome. Fantastic. Yay. Okay. It always feels good to get Wizard, close to the it end. It makes me smile to see you again. My people have a newly built peace with stone time. I did not believe my eyes when Vera Goodhart was promoted to count much better than the black heart rat. But do not tremble. Shaka Zibu and Zamunda stand. Fantastic. With what about the old lion? The wizard returns. Your restoration of the waterhole and defeat of Nurgle have yeah, earned Nurgle. you the respect of all Savannah tribe. This news you bring of the Umbra Queen is bad, bad medicine. medicine. Bad, bad. That the lions will stand bravely against her shadow. Very good. Let's go talk to Inyaga and get this party on the road. Very nice. Ooh.
so excited. Yes. Okay. Okay, white stripes. What do we got going on here? And so you return where you began, young wizard. You think Morganth has gone to Mirror Lake. That would be a cunning way to fulfill this prophecy you speak yeah, of. It could have. Could be. Long ago, Merle Ambrose and the Council of Light broke Morganth's power and buried her heart of darkness. Go into my hut and find the shrine to the spirit of Baobab. Okay. Light the candles. Return to me when it is done. And tell me what you saw. I okay. Find the path. So in this hut, we gotta light some candles. Pretty quick, I'm sure. Wow, he has a lot of candles lit up. Okay. So I guess he means you these. Light the first candle, and the flame leaps across to the rest. Like a, sp the path must lie through water somehow. Time to go back to Inyanga and tell him what you saw. Okay, we'll do that. Back to Inyaga. In the water. Ooh. Good. I could feel the power of the ritual from here. Nice. Look, the spirit of Baobab has opened a vortex to Mirror Lake. There that it is. is. The path you must go to Mirror Lake and chase down Morgan. Whatever happens, return to me when you are done, my friend. And it looks like we are here at Mirror Lake. Now, I, s I was going to only stream till 6, but I say let's go into the dungeon and we're going to be here until we beat it, right? So let's quest. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a team up right now. I don't see anybody around, so let's hit team up. And I bet you we'll get some people who want to go through Mirror Lake pretty quick because it's a popular place to get yourself some mega snacks. Nice. A unusual. It brought you to the bottom of the... That figure ahead looks disturbingly familiar. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, it looks like we got a few OPs in here. Oh, well. We'll just go ahead and get through Mirror Lake and finish them off. I know it's not something I could do by myself, though. CC Snake Tail. Turkey. Ouch. That's a rough spell. First out of the gate. Check it out. Well, here's hoping we get some mega snacks out of this. I've got a couple pets to train. I want to get those guys up to standard as quick as possible. Ooh, look at all of the glass and glass statues there around the back. I didn't notice that. It's been a long time since I've been to Mirror Lake. There's a statue of a Lion King, I'm sure. Okay, here we go. Nice. Well... Yeah, so it looks like I came in here with a storm guy, a death guy, and a, another storm guy. So, let's, let's have some fun. Let's go ahead and let's... Well, we'll start blading them, but they might just finish these guys off before too much. Wow, CC's going to knock out that first guy. Wow. Okay, so, let's see here. The Mirror Lake. I feel like these three are, these three are farming it. Not questing. I think they're farming it. Hmm. So what's the difference between the farming and questing tab when you for for team ups? That's a good question. Very good question. Okay, let's see how well he does. Because we know Snake Tail's a storm guy. That's a sword. I'll tell you what. Okay, so. It looks like this fight's over. Yep, that was totally unnecessary. Good job. Can we say? Very nice. No, Dark Lady, do not abandon me! Maybe that's the last of him. That must be the path up to the top of the mountain he mentioned. Okay, let's go.
up to the top of the mountain. Ah, yes, I remember this place. Oh, it's more Ganth. Okay. Wonder why it's not clicking on any of the dialogue for me. Since I'm probably going to be support, I'll just go ahead and throw in some more blades. Okay, so we're fighting all the ghosts. Gorilla Spectral Guardian, Zebra Spectral Guardian, nice lion, and... Aha! Uh -huh. There you go. Okay, very good. Very good. We got these guys. Nice. Elephant, lion, gorilla, and zebra. Very cool. Yeah, I wonder why my why the why my dialogue's not popping up. Hmm. I'm kind of glad I missed that spell. Very good. Okay, well, as I'm sitting back and watching these guys fight the battle for me, what are what are my plans for the rest of the week? Well, it looks like there's a good chance, well, it looks like we're going to finish the Zafaria here today, which is really great. That means we are going to start Avalon on our next stream day. Scheduled stream day is Saturday, but I may get a day in either Wednesday or Thursday beforehand. So, you know, go, so if you haven't, so if you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, if that's, if that's your thing, I have, I do have links to all those accounts. And um, I always put out, I always put out a, an announcement if I'm getting ready to stream. So, if you want to keep up with um, unscheduled streams, that's a quick, that's an easy way to do it, is to go ahead and follow that. So I'm going to do that. But let's go ahead and is that guy still dead? Jeez. Okay. Um, <laughs> very nice. Okay. So, anyways, um, so if you want to. Make sure you don't miss any streams. That's the best thing to do. Either follow me on Twitter or on one of those, and you'll get my my stream announcements as I get ready. So if I do an unscheduled stream, you'll know when it is. Otherwise, I will definitely be in Avalon on Saturday, it looks like, which I'm pretty super excited about. I'm very excited, actually, to get to Avalon. So that's, that's going to be neat. And then um, I'm not sure how many streams are going to be in Avalon, but it's been about, on average, about five streams per world. So... Um, I think it was like, you know, the earlier worlds it was less, it was like three to four streams. But now I've been working about five streams per world in these in these upper worlds. So I expect to be in Avalon at least five five different streams, so hope you hope you guys don't miss that. Also if you're if you like Minecraft, you know, my other two streams, which are on Fridays and Sundays, are are my let's play on Minecraft. I just built a huge park for our city area, which is starting to really fill out. So that's been a lot that's been pretty exciting. Um, I do. It is an SMP server. I have a variety of people to play and stuff. And if you um, like Let's Plays and stuff, I have a Let's Play on my channel. You know, and I hope, encourage you guys to check it out if you haven't checked it out. Um, very good. Okay, how can I be of most help to these guys? Well, I'm just going to go ahead and throw a trap on him. Why not? Only charms can save you now. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't trap anybody. Yep, I hope that doesn't cause a um, a reaction. Yeah. Hmm. See, I figured these guys would be all ready to hit and end the fight. So, who do we have here? We have Brittany Dark. Is that Brittany Dark Dreamer? Okay, Brittany Dark Dreamer. Very nice. They're all sporting um, clouds. Rain cores of some sort, probably, and it looks like there's some couple storm ones, and I'm guessing hers might be might be a life because it's greenish. Could be wrong about that. And then who else do we have here? Doom breaker, doom, doom, doom. Yeah, that storm guy, he likes to put the herd on. So here we go. Storm Lord is back in action. See, I gave him another another um, charm like that. You see how that went? Uh -huh. Well, he just might kill most of them before it happens. 
Oh yeah. Gorilla's down. Our balanced lion is down. Okay. Will the elephant survive it or not? Ooh, pierce that, Dendi. Uh, he had a pretty hefty shield on him. Didn't see that earlier. Okay, well, of course there's Stun Immune. Stun Immune. I don't think I've ever found a found a boss that's not Stun Immune. Okay, what can I do to help? Well, let's see here. Let's not trap things. Okay, I'm going to... Well, that's not going to matter. Oh, let's just get rid of those. Okay, I don't think I have anything to share this time around. So, let's see what else is going on. There's the Spider Queen Morganth over there with her creepy little spider pets. Yeah, we're going to stop her, though. Right? Oops, I forgot to see who else we have. So, we also have Luke Skywalker, one in a million. That guy was quite original with his name, wasn't he? Luke Skywalker, for sure. And then the dead guy is Jack Unicorn Staff. Is that right? Grandmaster Arzen. Good. He's a crafter, and he's wearing his um, he's we he's wearing his gear. Very cool. Let's go ahead and throw a blade on somebody who can use it well. Um, yep. We'll throw it on him. You're still marked. So what's this mark thing? See, I didn't get any of the any. any no, yeah, that's just myself. Okay. One. Yeah. There we go. Two. Hmm. Oops. Well, I'm glad I didn't get stunned. That's nice. Okay. Now, Kraken. It's the Kraken. Very good. So we've had a lot of great conversation today. Uh, I just want to say, anybody out there in in stream, you are so welcome to chat. Hop on. We will chat about whatever you want. I am not. I'm not stuck on any particular topics. Topics we've touched on today, we've done a lot of Wizard 101 chat, which has been pretty great. Everybody loves some Wizard 101 chat. Um, yep, she's going to finish them off, isn't she? Well, I'll just pass and watch the, watch the, watch the Doom. It looks like Cthulhu spell. Is that, what do they call that, actually? Call of Kruhulu. Yeah, they, their version of Cthulhu. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, so um, always welcome. Chat's always wide open. Don't have any particular topics. I love to engage you guys, so if you have something to say, that's awesome. But if you're just lurking and watching me um, skate through a skate through Mirror Lake, because that that's what it looks like is going on, it doesn't look like the fight's going to be that tough. Um, I certainly appreciate you guys having stepped in on stream. Um, yeah, very good. Oh, there it is. Call of Cthulhu. That is a creepy looking thing. It's a long spell too. It takes its time. Boy, it gifts, gifts it to her. Crazy, 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 crazy. Yep, and that's why I passed, because I figured that she would pretty much uh, take them all down. Ooh, what do we get? What do we get? Life giver jade, spider Sit silk. Quietly and watch uh huh. I draw uh, down that's kind of cool. Spiral and rewrite well, destiny. Oh, is it too late? I'll waste no more time okay. on you. My watch and learn as I speak the charm. Anal Nathrak Uthbas Bathad. Uh -oh. There's a trace of magic in the air from her teleport spell. If you hurry up to it, you can follow her. Oh, and they're all gone. Gosh, I'm just I'm trying to enjoy this. Okay. Oh, boy, here we are. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think the fight was over yet. At least I got the dialogue that time. Okay, so we got three, we got four Goliath bruisers. All ice. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Looks like Brittany Dark Dreamer just wants to push through as quickly as possible. Uh, let's see here. White Laffodil, Hunter's Helmet, Spider Silk, Sun's Circle Cloak. I received a Talos card. Very nice. Or it says I received Talos. Yeah. Okay, what do we want to do here? Let's go ahead and support him with a blade. I should have thrown in some spirit blades while I was at it. Yeah, that's what I should have done. 
Okay. Something tells me there's going to be quite a bit of ice spells going on here. Nice. So this is where Morgant started her mess. You can tell with the designs that it does harken to Chrysalis and what we're going to see up there in Chrysalis, which is pretty interesting. It's interesting that they took time to carve all of the Goliath beetles and put them all over the place. Oh yes, who doesn't like being hit by a Ice Titan and getting stunned by an Ice Titan? It's the way it goes sometimes, but hey, things are going really, really well. So my earlier goal for the stream was I was hoping to at least get to Mirror Lake. I was hoping to finish the safari, and it looks like we're going to make it, guys. It's been a fantastic stream so far. Okay. Now, I am looking to look forward to a lot of cool things in... Um, oh, what's the name of the next world again? I can't believe... Avalon. I'm so looking forward to Avalon. Avalon has some of my most favorite quests in the game. Here we go. Let's try... Let's try blading him up again. You know... Wow, these guys got some points. This is definitely not a soloing dungeon. Yes, you, you do want to go through here this with friends. Okay. Well, come on, Brittany. There we go. I guess the other guy just is gone because he hasn't come back yet. Well, that happens. Very cool. Okay. Let's see what these other two guys are going to do. Very nice. Okay. Well, let's see here. So, other things I'm kind of looking forward to. Okay, I'm going to talk TV shows, guys. I just, uh, I've been watching Ozark, which is on Netflix, and I just finished the last episode of the last season, and I was like, wow. Did not see that coming. Pretty interesting. You know. Another show that I that I'm that I'm watching is they just came out with the la with the latest season of of the Last Kingdom, so I'm kind of enjoying that right now. Pretty interesting, you know. It's been a it's been a fun show since I can't remember. Okay, Cthulhu. Now is that going to be enough to kill them all? Actually, yeah, it probably will be. Boy, I can't wait till I get to the point where I get Shadow Pip spells. That could be cool. Spell animations taking so long. Oh, boy, they are all focused on her, aren't they? Brittany's just taking all the heat, but you know, she's gonna totally 100% heal herself in one shot, though. That's some of the OP we were talking about earlier in chat about death characters, is with their spells because of the being able to regenerate health. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're tough to kill. Especially the way characters play them. Oh, critical's blocked? Hmm. So, two of them. Two of them survived. One of them survived. Very nice. Well, this guy, I guess his, his, sign his signature is the OP Storm Lord right there. And we're done with that guy. Very cool. Only I could get Stormlord. <laughs> At some point you will. At some point you will. Okay. So let's chase after her. Why do you oppose me? This treasure was I have done it. I have and now I reclaim my deck. With this, my power. goodbye, young wizard. 
If you happen to survive, you could that stop me? Headmaster, he cannot stop me. They just you rush into the, the fight, so I was just trying to z buzz through the dialogue so I could at least get back into it. Wow, yeah, these are not easy fights here. Very cool. Let's see here. Spider silk, frozen armor, spider story wraps. I don't think CC gave me anything good. Good to see you back in the chat there, Snipes. Hopefully you had something good. I know I'm going to have dinner as soon as I'm done with this. Looking forward to it. Let's see here. Gummy humongo frog? That's not a... That's okay. Life to the jade. Spider silk. The lost outsider. Unbroken. Spiral robe. Safari waterfront theme. Yeah, I'm not... You know, drops aren't so good. Let's see here. Maybe, maybe we'll see something better here. Okay. Ouch. Getting Stormlorded back. Nice. Teriyaki pork with some rice? That That is definitely... Now, I'd rather have chicken myself, but that would definitely hit the spot for many people. For sure. I think what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some Fritos, throw them in the bowl, throw some fresh beans on top of them. My wife made a big old pot of pinto beans all seasoned up, and then... On top of those, I've got some great salsa and cheese. I'm just going to have myself a nice big Frito pie. Okay, well, none of these guys are really going to help here. So let's go ahead and pass until I, get, until I get some blades, some charms for my teammates. Ooh, that spider is kind of unhappy. Why would that spider be so unhappy? Hmm, I need to take a gander and see what type of help we're dealing with here. Because those Goliaths, that, they were pretty they were pretty heavy-handed over there, so... Hmm. And these guys are not shy about hitting. Yeah, if I was selling this, I'd be dead after the first round of that. Hmm. Okay, so the Spider Queen got her deck and everything, and she is now back at full power, which is dangerous. So we've got Avalon, and then we've got... Ooh, Azteca. Yeah, can't forget about Azteca. Oh, wow, he is already storm... Wow, these guys are finishing up, so I guess I might... I was just a little bit too late. Because I wanted to read the dialogue. I wanted to hear about the dialogue. Oh, well. And let's see. Will she kill them all before he has a chance? I guess we'll find out. Hmm. Basically, portal to nowhere. So OP there. So OP. Crazy OP. Fantastic. And I think that's it. <laughs> Here, here's, a, here's a blade for next time. Maybe. Wow. A deep tremor shakes your very being. Very cool. Did I get make a snack? A howling no. Wind from outside. The mirror will break. The horn will fall. Uh-huh. The shadows I strike. And the skies. Oh. I love the cinematics. You must return to Baobab at once and tell him young the white stripes what has transpired here today. What is this thing? Oh yeah, that's where she got her deck from. Okay. Uh, I don't want anything out of the out of there. So let's head back and talk to Inyaga. I think everybody else is taking off. Wow, look at all those fishies. There we go. Okay, Inyaga. Here's My the deal. My ancestors, you have returned. And I'm alive. I'm alive. Morganth escaped with that collection of dark magics, a deck of shadows. Yes. Prophecy has a way of fulfilling itself. Mm -hmm. This will not this be the last time. The last you see no, it. sir. Take comfort. You have done good, strong work here. Were it not for Very you, good. Your students would be lost, and my world would be a fire. Return to Wizard City. And tell Merle Ambrose the story of Zafaria. Excellent. I'm just going to look real quick. Um, let's see here. Are there any quests left in Zafaria? Because I think I might have done them all. 
Oh yes, all I have is the um the monkey quest and that other quest. I am 100% done in Safari. Very cool. Well, almost done. I gotta do the other two little quests. Okay, let's go talk to Ambrose because I'm sure he's going to send us on another another high adventure because we get to go to Avalon next. Now, there is one quest I haven't taken, and that's the Tower of the Elephant. I don't know if I don't know if I could talk myself into going to the Tower of the Elephant. I don't like the Tower of the Elephant. I've never made it through the Tower of the Elephant. Maybe someday I'll find somebody and we'll go power through it. Okay, Merle. Welcome back, young wizard. I understand you brought all of the lost students. Oh. Organth unearthed the deck of oh, shadows. Oh no. Uh-huh. Oh no. I hope that when he was hoping to be lost be forever. Lost, okay, Merle. That is something we must deal with before long. You should focus on your studies. If you are to be ready, I was reflecting on Here we go. recent schemes. It is time nice. to learn more uh, about the Council, Council of Light. Light. Uh-huh. What is Avalon? Well, what is it? It is the world I come from. I will tell mm -hmm. you more, but first you must learn of the Council of Light. Find Fantastic. The of Mushu in the Jade Palace. Ask about the Council of Light. Return here. Okay, so we got a Council of Light quest. You know what? We got enough time to do this. Let's go ahead and run over and talk to... Whoa, that can't be good. Okay, well, guys, Wizard101 just crashed on me, and I guess I will take that as a cue. Thanks, everybody, for stopping in. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channel, Can We Say Gaming, over there on YouTube, and check out additional content. I will be streaming again. Um, schedule is there on my page. So next stream scheduled is going to be for Friday afternoon, but there will probably be an extra stream Wednesday or Thursday. So watch Twitter or whatever your favorite social media is for that because I'll be throwing an announcement on that. Hopefully everybody has a great day. This is Kimmy Say. Thank you so much for the stream. Thank you so much for the great conversation. Special shout-out to Snipes. And Lost Frog Snipes, especially for the subscription, and Lost Frog for the follow. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Have a good day. Bye-bye.